Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. I am Lily and in this video I'm going to do a playthrough of the expert difficulty on normal speed and see how all the new changes have affected the game. So let's buckle up and get going. Right, so this is the default setting and uh, I would like to stay in MISO because I would like to start from fairly late MISO but I would like to be in autumn so that everything is ready and ripe to harvest and we're going to have a great start of feast. Uh, we are not going to do beginner, that is already covered. We are going to do expert. Expert kind of is the, the, the normal or how it used to be but uh, more challenging because it, yeah it was way too easy before. Uh, so you can see that beginners is abundant resources and little pressure from your citizens while expert is enough resources and progressive citizen pressure that means you cannot doinky about for for weeks and weeks and weeks you need to be systematic in getting your stuff up at the comfort for your people and uh, yeah and hardcore is already covered as well so we don't need to worry about that but you can see it's uh, very scarce resources and strong citizen pressure so yeah right so autumn we're going to stay expert and then we're going to do normal which is basically the speed so if you have so if you have it on slow then you have three days per month and then normal is two days per month and fast is only one day per month right so yeah and I would like to be in the French Alps. It's absolutely my favorite place. Love all the mountains. I'm gonna try to get as close to where I want to be as possible. Let's do it. Let's have a look at the tribe. Oh, she's bad. Oof. Look at that. Oh. Crikey. Ouch. Yeah, I might not be able to uh, build everything I need in one day. That's bad. That's bad. <clears throat> that is horrendous. She's going to live, absolutely, if I am not dinky doinking her and mothering her. Molly coddling. Oh my goodness, this tribe is completely cursed. So much bad, really, really bad traits or grades. And we do have a, a smidgen of agriculture, which makes sense. We are to the very east of Europe. Atlantic Europe, that is. Okay, so you can see the percentages are showing on what you have on your knowledges you can see the percentages uh, this is new as well this is great so we can see exactly where we are yeah so yeah this is uh yeah this is not going to be uh building everything in in one go here that's for sure i probably have to to migrate i'm not sure where to go so if you're going to do it hardcore, you need to go much closer than this. You can get away with quite a bit more in normal than you can, or in expert, than you can in hardcore. So if you have to walk a little bit in expert, that's fine. Uh, hardcore will uh, make it a lot more difficult for you. Right, so first things first. Let's see where we are. Where are my mountains? There they are. Oh, it seems like they've already found a nice pair of stones. I'll just... Uh... Oh, gosh. We don't have a lot of huts, do we? Well, now it's time to see how the new system with the, uh, the tribe self-learning and having discoveries from their wise men or women or whatever <laughs> from wise members i think it's more correct to say so uh, always first thing uh, you should do no matter what difficulty you're in 
perhaps you can get away with doing whatever you like in beginners but expert and hardcore should really uh, focus on comfort first so what we do is making sure that the first night is not spent in the open or at least that they are waking up with their prayer system so they can go and pray so even though i've put it on one notch there's not much point because there will be a fairly small percentage of the tribe that is not working but they won't be working as long so we might be able to get up uh, a few happy things for them a few fireplaces should do the trick they are 19 so that's a very odd number isn't it normally it's either 14 or 21 or 25 or so 19 is a little bit unusual I'm going to add the, the fireplace I actually do want in the end, in the middle, which is the big one, which gives a, a high percentage of appeasement from unrest. I mean, the open is 50 unrest immediately, or well, this one is just 45. <laughs> it's just 45. <laughs> well, it could mean the difference between leaving and staying. So I am worried about that one person we saw, that woman with um, two of the worst grades possible, this one. She's feeble. This is the second grade of the fitness reduction and indecisive, which is also the second grade. So she's got two of the second bad grades <clears throat> with yeah, the um, second grading. Oh, look, but there's food. Look at that. Yeah, we do have food. And please let there be hazelnuts here already. I will find out. I'll find out quickly if there are hazelnuts. You can normally see them quite uh, distinct. They're quite distinguished because they are very like sharpish, yellowish, and uh, there they are. <laughs> so I have one, two, three, four, four that are up. And as you grow, as the environment grows, there will of course be more. But then again, others who go old will also die. So it's a uh, circle of life right um so those are the fireplaces and then we should get down these so for now this is the best we have and we will just have to place down we have 10 so we can only place down two okay so instead of creating a million groups what i am going to do is only create the groups that is actually going to gather the materials for what we are going to build and the rest will do the clearing so we're going to need mud, mud of course and we are also going to need sticks i'm going to put those fairly high immediately and then we are of course going to need stones they as well will be fairly high but we can build a uh, common graves because we are still in the Mesolithic meaning we do not have to build stone graves and then it is the logs each fireplace only need one log so if you have two then you're fairly covered yep and that's all I'm going to do because while those who are set together go do that the others who have no other task will clear the areas could do a little bit more uh, min maxing by only placing items down on non grassy areas so areas that does not need clearing for instance there's a small portion here that doesn't really need clearing but uh, you don't need to be that min maxing in expert it is after all the new normal so there right let's get some speed in case we have at least one fireplace but we need one more so everyone can sleep by the fireplace and this one is basically done as well so now we've covered so that everyone has a place to sleep for the night and now we have also made sure that they have prey system 
when they wake up and when they are done working. So I'm just going to put that down immediately and let people pray and socialize to let any unrest chill a bit because we did not manage to get up any of the huts in time. I'm not surprised. I did not expect it with this tribe. But tomorrow they should be up. Let me have a look at the fine sticks. More lacking one there. Okay, so yeah, no, we will lack fine sticks. I thought we were always going to have... Oh, wait. The offerings. The offerings takes a few of the sticks as well. So that is why we are lacking a few sticks for both of them. I forgot about that, but uh, now I know. So well, uh, this is um, annoying. It is completely recoverable. So what we're going to do is just basically get our crafters up get that done oops thought I did that one but hey did not so you're gonna make you can you can make 50 while we're at it like there so then I'm going to put this one on a pause until this one is done no that one is done it's so nice so that's pelt out number one and now I'm going to make the rest of the groups as well So we do not have the farmlands yet, although we have some agriculture, and that is because we need only just a, one person from the Neolithic culture, and then we can build it. And we also do not have the threshers, so whatever farms we're going to do will be beets and peas only for now. Let's get that one down, because we're not guaranteed to get more housing options immediately. But the... Uh, the wise uh, member system will make sure that uh, uh, the tribe has the capacity to learn on its own without having migrants coming all the time this opens up quite a few options for us with regards to population control culture control and definitely knowledge control so although we can't really control who discovers what or when as such we can certainly control all the migrants and I think this is an excellent move by the devs and I certainly welcome it uh, what was I doing yeah I forgot what I was doing yeah I was making the groups there you go okay so let's get that one and you are going to do the crafter items I don't have bifaces I don't need those yet that's weird not having bifaces isn't it it's a bit odd So you guys are going to get the straw and you guys are going to go for the food I'll just take in everything and then just let them gather bit by bit because when you have a million tasks but you also have a million people they come in fairly fairly okay numbers this you can just change this as you see fit you don't have to do it the way I do it it's just this is just how I do it how many sticks do I have? I have zero. Okay, so I'm going to wait for those 15. Uh, fishermen, da, da 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 You guys can, yeah, just hunt what there is. We probably have to migrate once before we start with agriculture. Get a fresh start. And also remember that the environment when you migrate will be um, adjusted to your tribe's size. So if you are 50 members, you will come to a place that is adjusted for 50 members and it will slowly um, adapt to your tribe size, but with a diminishing effect, to say. So if we still can't stay for, for like a century in the same place because 
everything has been reduced uh, all materials has been reduced as well and the fine raw stone is really scarce now which is why I continuously only uh, keep one in camp and I don't exaggerate on the axis no matter you do also have a few new other stuff for instance you can now um, tell your wood choppers uh, what to not cut down so if I only want really big ones I put it here that means that the uh, lumberjacks will go away from camp at least 30 meters and then start chopping down the big trees oh our first the uh, tribe knowledge look at them going they are improving and those who are improving they are um, working on something and this one is just to uh, finish some ropes and hence we can create baskets when she created baskets you can see the green see the green how it's increased that means she also increased the overall tribe knowledge as well you can see it's green on tribe as well without migrants but this is what i mean with that a tribe is is educating itself they are learning stuff but you will find that it is mostly or it's only those who already have the max uh, skills in the tribe who tends to get these because the others will just learn as normal catching up to the max uh, skill holder and you can see everything has changed within how they are communicating it's uh, much more relatable i think when it is like this okay how many do I have? Two? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's get some speed. Okay, so, so expert is speed is, or normal speed is two slips. So that means there is a 21, 21, my maths, 24 sleeps in, in one year. So, and each person eat between, depending age, stuff like that, between 18 to 26-ish units of food per year. But you also need to, in that, calculate the calorie count, because that also is a calculation that the devs have added to the game. So, for instance, if you had, if people are helping themselves to only one fish, it means that the calorie count is, is high enough to to keep them satisfied for a full meal and then you can see them go take four kilos of berries that is because berries has such a low calorie count and they need to get a certain calorie count to be full oh now we've got wooden tridents as well dang okay let's get those do it done too by these let's see yeah we'll take those let's just do four for now Okay, so we can do baskets too now. I'm going to get the, uh, a log store down for the uh, big fireplace. When I have more housing up, I'm going to remove both the small fireplaces. So, yeah. They have changed everything. All the notifications as well are more relatable. It's more intimate, I think. Our first log store is completed. Indeed. These can have max repair status as well. So until we actually have farms, I'm not going to harvest any of the wheat or the flax. So make sure that we do have the seeds when when indeed we get farms. So now I have two rope and plenty of those. So all those, the, although these are not nice to sleep in at all, they're actually 30% worse than the pelt hats. We need them because this is better than sleeping in the open. And it's better than sleeping by any of the fireplaces. So it has to come down. Has to be built, small spider's nest. No kidding. So 
So if we compare it to what we normally had before, which was four days per month, so one day was one week, uh, one day now is then two weeks, and that means that you need to get stuff done twice as efficient to keep up with the speed. Uh, some of it has been uh, adjusted to accommodate this speed change, but other things have not. Another thing that devs have done is they have almost doubled the time before anything needs repairs, but they have allowed that the repair materials is now also the next coming up on the constitution list. The constitution list is the materials that this object needed to be built. And the last on the list is previously what the object needed to be repaired. And now we can uh, check and see when the repair status is coming up, what else is needed to keep this object repaired. And it probably will be fine sticks or even all three of the constitution materials. So that's going to be interesting to see. This one is uh, probably going to need some rope and even perhaps some sticks, but we shall see how it goes. Because don't forget, when when all the leather is gone to a certain degree, or at least a few of them, the decay will move over to the next uh, building material. And that's kind of how it has always been. It's at that point where we call it dilapidated, and then you kind of like have to halfway build it again. So it's going to be interesting to see how that works out. So it takes a lot longer before things need repairs, but you will need more materials um, when you do need repairs. So yeah. So 74% are without and I assume you all have gotten used to the new information icons so basically this one here is showing your difficulty you can see you are on expert game and this is the work hour how they are affecting your tribe and uh, I guarantee you 110% that anyone who belongs in that 5% bracket are those with bad grades and then you can also see what kind of of animals the area is starting to go out on and of course the normal problem reporting and also this is how many people are without housing it used to be in the start the exact amount of people instead of the percentage percentage you need to do calculations yourself and to be honest I can't be arsed so I just see who's still sleeping by the fireplace but at least you have a, a percentage calculation which I kind of find no help at all to be honest very small help it's a help when it's uh, 100% because then you know okay nobody's got it but then you can just use your eyes as well to see okay I have no hearts so I'm not sure why exactly we can't uh, get a number of people that are without housing above the percentage but I think it has something to do with the color change because the color changes you can have a red which is basically a ton of people not without without housing and then you can have it yellow which is only some then you have blue and which is only one or two or blah 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 or the percentage so there's a difference there why are my fine sticks not bleeding well increasing Come on, be efficient. Okay, I'm going to add two more uh, straw huts. Two more sp spider's nests. And the reason I'm building them fairly far away from camp is that I want them to go to the better huts first. So the better the hut is, the closer to the fireplace I move it. Because the fireplace normally is the place where people finish their day sitting around the fireplace talking to the family and then they go to sleep because the, the sleeping arrangement is still decided by vicinity and not by quality. So now let's see if I can get some more fine sticks. So expert is fairly forgiving, forgiving in regards to how long they will accept not having proper housing, but it is progressive. So it's not like you can get away with it for years. That's not gonna happen. So you should get it up fairly quickly 
Ooh, first migrants. Let's have a look at you. You're good. You're, yeah, look at all the uh, improvements he brings. And he's big and he's probably able. Let's see what that is. Skillful. Yeah, I'll take you. Welcome to the tribe. Oh my god. So we can do straw huts now. Oh, and our first Neolithic. He's Neolithic. That means we can build farms. And also Neolithic offerings, which is basically the first thing we're going to do. We're going to build Neolithic offerings because they grant more than the uh, ones we already have, the Mesolithic. So that in turn means that as soon as the Neolithic ones are up, we are going to dismantle the other ones. So you can see this one gives... 20 but the neolithic gives 30 so we do want that and oddly enough it costs less it only costs five mud the other one costs mud and sticks and we should soon consider getting down a few graves because uh, you know people die a lot faster so let's be smart about that just check how many elder you have you have one so making a few is not a bad idea. And we have these. So I don't want to build these. Sorry, I'm going to take you down. You can afford to wait a little bit. But we need five ropes for that. <coughs> so there's a, some materials being reclaimed when you take down. Uh, other things than felt huts, but it's not like it's a ton. You can't build a new hut on it, so we'll just wait a little bit. So, yeah, so you can see that. So, 30 meters from where your camp is, and that is uh, calculated on your focus point in the camp. So, if you go 30 meters, which will be roughly here ish, ish, ish. Yeah, you know me and my calculations. You need to do it yourself, get it right. I'm doing the ish calculations because I'm British, you know. No, I'm not British, I'm Norwegian. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a good slam to the good insult to the British. Everything they do is ish. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. Um, so we are not going to need to get any read yet because we're not going to build anything with reed because we can't but I would like to start getting down the farm so I am actually going to place down the oops that was a bit crooked wasn't it can't have it crooked I'm going to place down the uh, the pits for the seeds and save those I should probably up the uh, amount of uh, sticks they come home with <clears throat> and I want you to gather a bit of nuts only see if we can get some good stuff over over the end of winter and start spring I should really get down some uh, of these dryers as well because you see the the meat has been out a while so I'm going to basically pause my fishermen you can't pause them too long because they need to keep the skills alive oh, but you can put it down to one to, so they have a circulation of building skills but one of the things <clears throat> with this speed as uh, you stay long term the, the prey will go down in size and you will hunt less you will also fish less because uh, the longer you stay, the less pools you have and, and the fewer and far between they are. So your people, your fishermen will spend a long time walking from pool to pool. And while they are walking, they do not gain any skills. So you can have dips in your skill levels as max holder die. But then you will have other people bringing it back up due to new improvements from people in the tribe. And also due to migrants coming with better levels. So she has improvements in both architecture and leatherworking, but she has a, a bad fitness grade. And this one, 
has okay grades, but he has no real uh, upgrade. But I think I'll take them because of her upgrade. Because now we can make reed huts. So that means that I'm going to... Oops, not you. I'm going to do you. No. There you go. It was you. It was you. And we're going to do reed. And we're going to make... Uh, gather for two at the time. So this means that the, the food group will be very small. This is fine. Oh, and more tribe knowledge has been improved. Oh, who's that? Yeah. yeah, she's been improving her woodworking. Can you see the green? Yeah, so that's good. So that means she has also improved the overall uh, skill levels for the tribe, which is great. Okay, so let's uh, get these done. Uh, let's just do those first. So we're not going to get anything planted uh, this season. This is fine because we had to wait anyway. So it's going to be quite stressful to get down any farms at all. But since we are still living off the starter fees, we should be fine for at least one more year. At least. At least on normal, it's quite forgiving. On hardcore, it's a little bit different because the uh, diminishing is quite stark. It's quite... Do, 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 do. Okay, so that's those, and then we have uh, plenty leather to get down some threshers. Because we no, we didn't get threshers. No, we didn't, did we? Duh, we didn't. But I need to get. No, never mind. They have eaten them up. No, I'm going to get for fish. No, fish is going to go as well because I have paused them. So much going on. And of course, I can't play on slow. You know, the speed has to be max. Yeah, <laughs> so it's a ton, twice as much to keep an eye on in this, on the same speed. What I am going to do, I'm going to give them one of these because uh, they don't go too grumpy. No, I'm going to have it in front of you. There you go. Yep. We could take out the uh, mushrooms and just, just let them do some of these first. So the amount of these animals can get a chance to recover a bit. Okay, I'm just gonna let the the tribe work in peace for a bit. Okie dokie. So we have added a few more huts and we've also got reed huts down. <clears throat> but uh, it will be the only read hut we do because we just got uh, someone discovered the big straw hut so we are going to place down a big straw hut instead Ta-da! let them build that one in peace I okay, so have those. Uh, we still don't have any threshers, do we? No, we do not. Right, so that means that the farms I'm going to add is only going to be beet and peas. And I would like people to be a little bit more eager in getting those too. So they should still be, uh, or at least this one should be in season still. And then should cut this one. Peas should come very shortly. So when I see if I have peas, I'm just going to add down the, uh, the farms. And they have changed the size of the farms as well, so now it's, uh, it's 21 times 10. So the, the max farm size you can get is 220 cells. And also, of course, based on your difficulty, you will get either more or less yield from your crop, of course. Hardcore being atrociously small. Uh, a normal should, I almost said normal. <laughs> <laughs> Normal is, is better, but for beginners, you can calculate roughly one full yield farm, either peas or beet, or wheat with ovens and mill, to cover around, yeah, eight to ten people can, 
can manage one year with one maxed out farm of those um, crop types. It's uh, a different uh, kettle of fish altogether. In hardcore, you get roughly half ish or even a bit less than you get from uh, beginners. So that means that one farm maybe can keep three people alive. So you're going to need more workforce to do more farms to get more people. So the soft cap in hardcore, especially slow, is going to be around 50 to 70. On expert, it's going to be around 50 to perhaps 100 if you're really lucky. And hardcore fast, you can probably make between 60 and 120 as a soft cap. But this is a very rough calculation based on your insight as well in the game. Because if you don't play it right, you probably won't even reach 100. So it's a good idea to, to experiment a bit to find stuff out. Oh, also, with the um, storage um, facilities, uh, the priority now matters. So whatever you have the highest will be filled first. And if you, for instance, need a empty storage to make sure that when your, your current ones need repair, then you need to put it on neutral, otherwise they will fill up that one first. Or equal with that one. So you will you will figure this out yourself as you go along. Mm. So yeah, this one is the only read I will build because it, it gives same appeasement as uh, Big Straw Hut, and of course the Big Straw Hut is much much cheaper. So you see, this one is uh, plus five, and so is this one. So uh, I would like to get a little bit stuff down I would like to get another straw hut down fairly quickly and then I'm going to remove I'm actually going to remove this immediately so nobody goes into it because it's still vicinity isn't it they don't go by quality they go by vicinity which is why you should put the best huts closer to the fireplace so there I'm going to make a, one of these as well I'm going to put it over here don't need to be super close. Oh wait, there seems to be some food wanting to sprout there, so I'm going to put it further away. There you go. Just to be sure. <laughs> yeah. And in theory, place down another one. They can build it in the morning. Okay, I'm gonna let them work on those two things in peace for a bit. of those and other pieces. No, they're probably not in the season yet. No, they're not. Oh, now the, yes. Uh, okay, so the beets are six. So you still use the same amount of uh, seeds per cell. So it's roughly one unit per 35 to 40. Is that 10? Doesn't count. Oh gosh. Yeah, it always does that to start with and then poof, it becomes normal. Let's see if I can count to 10 here. Can I count to 10? Eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's 10 and 21. That is 220. That means that this is the max size we can get. You can also have a square-ish. It doesn't matter your, your, uh, your pattern on it. Just... Uh, get it maxed 
Um, the thing is that I do, you don't have to do it, you can do exactly as you see fit. I let the tribe clear the farm and then I assign it to a farming group. And also, with the time being half, you have twice as little time, it's cut in half. That means you will need more people to cover, to cover uh, more farms. But since it's also halved, then we can get away with using the same amount that we used to be previously with 440 maxed out farm. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah? So a halved farm will take the same amount because the timing is also halved. You have two days to get stuff done. Or actually it's three because I asked specifically for extra time. Otherwise it will be a bit too difficult on beginners and normal or expert but hardcore got no such luck hardcore is uh, one you do or you die <laughs> it's bone hard it's bone hard let me see yeah so i can probably take down one of these as well if my calculations are okay so don't be too fooled when you see this because it doesn't necessarily mean oh oops i forgot to increase my fishermen didn't i it doesn't mean that you don't have food it could also mean that some people are late eating because the food distribution uh, time has of course been increased uh, but that's quite a few patches ago so that uh, not everyone needs to eat at the exact same time sometimes people can wake up in the morning be a little bit hungry but still just go to work and and then just uh, wait a bit before they come home and help themselves with food and then the um of course the the food bowl will show because they they count of course as the percentage 70 percent that's not many but you do get a uh, tooltip and you can read about absolutely everything you can hover over absolutely everything and get information any information that you need to help you out so this overview here is excellent absolutely excellent you can see your difficulty is also showing and of course the usual problems of course and those complaining of overwork can't say it enough will be those with bad grades nobody else because we have default work hours oops i didn't know that you could do that oh no because i lost my uh my um tribe leader to old age so yeah you can uh oops. you can foresee immediately who it is based on how you have your uh, tribe policies so we already know that these are the ones with the bad grades. So I'm not going to lower the work hours. They are going to stay default. Default is neutral. So when they are default neutral, um, normal people will not grow any unrest. But those with bad grades tend to grow a bit and it is progressive as well. So for the first year or so, they might just whinge a bit. But after three, four or five, they might actually leave you based on their will. And I say it's a normal filtering system by the game. Unwelcome, lazy people can leave. And they do. So now we should really have uh, peace. Do we have peace? Gosh. We do not. That is very odd. Okay, maybe this area does not have peas. That could be it. So it's going to be beets only. Sure. Fine. Can sort that. The uh, uh, wise men system that has been implemented it is kind of two faceted. You have two ways of getting these improvements apart from, of course, the migrants. The first one is that, of course, people are working with something, on something, and then they get ideas from that, and then they improve their skills, and sometimes even give you new objects, because they suddenly realize, I can do this to achieve this, and then poof, you suddenly have an improvement. And also there are, in the evenings, when people are chilling out, sitting by the fireplace, they share their day, they share their experience, and suddenly someone 
managed to, to realize that, oh, I can do this and this, and if I do what he said, then I get that and that, and then poof, you again have an improvement in your skills. And this is a very much more congruent than it used to be. This is more authentic, because there is no way that entire Atlantic Europe did not have any discoveries on their own. We can just go back to the passage tomb that belongs to Ireland, it belongs to England, you know, you know it belongs to the far, far western part of Atlantic Europe. So I'm really happy that this got changed to, to now again being authentic. And it also was not authentic that uh, the tribe could not work themselves to any improvements at all. And we had to rely on migrants only. So I'm really glad that the, the devs have changed this. I'm extremely happy about that because that was one of the things that I did not particularly like. Because one of the things that has been steady and easy to follow is that the devs have always uh, worked around authenticity. And that to me is really important because then you can use your own insight and you can use common sense and what you already know about the timelines to find what is working as intended and what is what is good. So that is really, really nice that they've done that. So they are completely back to authenticity now. What do you have? Oh, you have increased, increased archaeology. Archaeology. Here we go. Architecture. <laughs> and you have increased vision. You have a bit poor grace. But, uh, you know, I don't care. I'm going to take you guys because I want this. I want big read huts. So now we are going to put back this 150. And give you four. It's not taking away from oh, that. There's plenty of people left. Cut out. And how many people do I have? 26. So this one will feed roughly six people. Six to eight, maybe. I should be smart and get another one, shouldn't I? I should. I should. I should. So try to not rely on it. I'm not going to do any insane farming. I'm just going to wait till I get by faces. And then I'm going to, to spam by faces and then we're going to move. Then we're going to migrate. Why is it so long? What the heck? Look at this. Look at the length of it. It's like an evil light here. What the hell? No, it's going to be a square if I do this. Look, it's going to be a square. That's ugly. Can't have it. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, well, look at this and see what's going on here. I've never seen that you can make it long as an evil light yet before. This is a lot more cells than 10. They increased it again. I need to check this out. Eight, two, three. Gosh. Stop moving, Lily. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That means that this needs to be 20. Otherwise, they've changed it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, Still the same. Still the same like I thought it would be. It's just that you can shape it the way you want it. That tricked me a bit, actually. I got a little bit tweaked. Just place it down, Lily. It doesn't matter. Christ. And another one of those. So, try clear and then I give it to a public group. Cut out. We can afford it. The thing with, with, the, with the farmer efficiency is that you need to calculate that between 60 to 80 percent of the time of the year uh, you will lose over half your tribe to farming or even more. Hardcore or, or hardcore slow you will lose even more people because you need so many more farms to feed whatever you have that the entire tribe will have to participate in getting the farms up. Okay, you are going to be four again, yeah. So let's see if um, that works. But also you need to calculate the, the members in the farmers group. How high is their skills? What kind of, of, of uh, negative grades do they have? Because this also matters. So yeah, if you get very smart, uh, clever people to do your farms, they will be quicker. If you get them 
that are clumsy and uh, not very well workers, it will take longer time and you might need more people. So you need to kind of adjust with the, the tribe and how the tribe behaves, basically. I've also figured out, you know, when the, the white light is around people that you have not uh, targeted or around objects and stuff, what you do to get rid of it, you just hover over and then the light, the self-illuminating white light goes away. Quite weird, isn't it? So I think that peace will come the year after, it will come uh, later, it will grow because there are constantly things growing, but why do I not have bifaces yet? Stone working, should I rely on making some beautifications, although I don't really do a lot of beautifications because I go for efficiency and playability above beauty, sorry, yeah, it's weird that I don't really bother about beauty, but hey, we are not all the same. I'm going to add a little bit of, of stone fencing around some of these and let uh, my, my tribe work on it and uh, see if any of them can figure out hmm, maybe I can make a biface out of this or if they lose a stone on top of another stone then they see it flakes off becomes a sharp tool hmm, then they put two and two together and poof, we have biface let's, um, let's see how that works out I'm gonna do that. Let them gather as much as they like. And luckily we have plenty of food so that I can allow a, a, more than a few people to go do these, um, these fences. Yep. So this is four. Let's see how they are uh, working. They are. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, you're okay. You're not an idiot just because you're a bit uh, a bit of a weakling. That's fine. She has skills. She can do this. She will learn uh, agriculture as well, won't she? Because she has none at the moment. Let's see what the rest of the group have in agriculture. You have none. You have some, yeah, that's good. You might actually manage to work yourself to the improving their skills, because you can see that the skills that are improved belongs to those who have the max in your tribe. So you don't get people who, who are below the max to get any improvement, because they just learn what already is learned in the tribe. It is those that hold the max skill in the tribe that will do improvements. Logic, yeah? See how about you guys? Let me see how you guys are doing. Who are you? Let me see you. You are a bit dumb and you have no skills for agriculture. I mean, you have agriculture skills. Oh, I think they changed. <coughs> they swapped group. Wait, have I not assigned this to? Uh, no, I haven't. Duh. I forgot to assign it. Sorry, you're supposed to be four so I can check you out, not five million. So if you do, if you do by tribe only, you need to remember that the more farms you have, the less of the the group uh, gathering will be done. So e even though you think you it's fine and dandy to do with tribe only, there will come a time where you need to be a bit more methodical than just let tribe do everything. Because when so much of your tribe is working on the farms, then nothing else is coming to camp. No food, no materials, no you know, no nothing. So there needs to be a little bit. Uh, breaks on who is doing what okay so nobody made any discoveries in the stone fine fine so how many is this 12 16 20 25 and 28 so I have 28 sleeve spots and the 26 right so I need to get down more before I remove the last pelt heart. So what we're going to do with the leather is just take it with us when we migrate because uh, I'm not going to place down threshers but I am going to place down these to keep the food processing skill up. So this is a bit extra precarious because when people uh, die so much faster you need to be more active in creating activities that will keep 
your lesser used skills uh, up to par with what the max tribe is because when your max tribe uh, skill hold the dice you should ideally have at least one or more in tribe that has reached the same level so you do not lose any skill levels uh, I normally tend to, if I stay long term Neo, I tend to go uh, up and down on leatherworking, I go up and down on fishing, and I go up and down on hunting. And if you don't build any stone monuments or do not build any stone fences, then you can expect the same behavior from stone working. So as soon as you can uh, build some uh, monuments, megaliths that demand some stone working, you should get down some. Even though you don't have a ton of stone, just get one uh, down so people can uh, keep some of their skills up to date. So this is something you as a player need to take responsibility for. This is not game responsibility, this is yours as a player. You need to play it right. You need to play according to what you have to play with. So losing any skill uh, can be upped again via discoveries of your tribe or via welcoming migrants because migrants have been increased to have more skills, to have higher skills and to have more types of skills. They have also been improved to be less elder and more younger so that you don't have this insane difference in births versus elder people. So this has also been sorted. Um, the pregnancies has been upped a little bit in the last hotfix but not so much that you will have this insane explosive uh, population growth unless you want it yourself, then you just accept all the migrants that comes. I will not do that in this uh, playthrough. I will accept those that I feel will benefit the tribe. And in that, you also calculate how many females do I have? Do I have too few children? Do I want more people? Do I not want more people? Do I need more skills? Do I want more levels in skills? Do I need more objects? Blah, 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 blah. All these things are something you as a player need to configure yourself. You need to figure this out yourself based on how you want your tribe to, to be. What are your agendas? So I'm going to uh, put this on pause for two seconds. See this one? This has a white light around him. So let me, if I put this one uh, um, over there and then you can see it goes away. If you just hover over them, it disappears. I just recently discovered this. <laughs> well, small tip. <laughs> if, if you're annoyed by it, just uh, hover over it. <laughs> it will be sorted. Oh, yeah. Um, play responsibility. Yeah, you need to, to get insight enough to, to calculate a little bit on yourself. Because you do need a little bit of mythology. You need to adjust your own gameplay here. And not blindly do what you think it should, how it should be, because your environment and your tribe will react differently from tribe to tribe, from locality to locality. It's just how it is. The game it's um, randomized to mimic authenticity, and I find find that quite okay, quite okay. So now people are sitting around the fireplace, sharing stories and sharing experience, and, and suddenly someone comes up with a great idea, and poof, we have a new uh, a new object. But uh, it will only be those that are congruent with the timeline. So you will never get, you will never discover, for instance, the Trilithon when you can't see the Trilithon grayed out. Just keep that in mind. So we can't get wooden trails either, but we can get these two. We can't get the uh, passage tomb either. Or the big men here, the big temple men here. And we can't get palisades or palisade gates we can get that one we can get everything here because it belongs to the timeline absolutely in the more eastern part from say 7k 6k ish you can actually get information from migrants and travelers from the far east so the further to the east and south you are the more likely you are to get agriculture before anyone in the more western and northern parts of Atlantic Europe. Just keep that in mind. That is also authentic. So 26 and a half spots for 28. So I'm almost on 150 read and then we're gonna chalk down a read hut which is is a plus seven still. Yeah? You haven't changed that? No. It's a plus seven so that means I can take away the last pelt and one of these straw huts. I will do that. Are the small straw huts these yeah these okay 
they are not miners yet. Don't forget, they will change their value based on what is available. So in the end, in this one, if you have long houses grayed out, people will not be super happy with this one like they are now. So this is something you will experience as you go along. So I want to see I want to see how each object is affected by the need for different types of material because that is something that they have implemented, isn't it? That uh, objects go a lot longer before they need repair, but they have added that they need other types of materials as well in the repair and the maintenance of the object. So that's a bit interesting. Uh, we couldn't have this system before because it was just no way due to the uh, extremely difficult logistics because uh, before we got improved and uh, got other ways to get for instance straw we had to walk to the very edges of the map and use more and more people to keep the same amount of huts uh, maintained so that was impossible to do because it would double the workload and that would just wouldn't work but now we have got so much uh, more options on how to get grass both with the, the wheat threshing and all the tall grass cropping so we have a lot more uh, room to do these kinds of things and of course it's done as well to increase the difficulty of course even in uh, beginners it is done like that to increase difficulty I get that, I totally get that. I guess they'll keep it on one. The hunter will probably lose a bit of skills unless he can catch up. He looks like he's fairly much caught up and he's, he's uh, 48, so in another few years he will, um, he will be old and die. See, so this one is now yeah, still minus seven. So, yeah, not too bad. But today people are hoping for better. Oh, look. He has improved his uh, skills in food processing. So now we can make thrashers. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. Yeah, just the lacking. I'm going to need uh, more um, storage facilities for this. I'm actually just going to use uh, these baskets because three can help themselves at the same time instead of having a queue by the pits. So although the animation or the, the process of helping yourself from the pit has been greatly increased so that it's much, much quicker, they still form a queue as soon as your tribe is getting a bit bigger. So I prefer to use baskets then completely. So what I do with this one, now that it's built, I put it down on neutral so that this will not be filled first. Just remember that priority matters. Oh, there are so many changes. I'm not even sure I can remember them all. But I'll try to remember them as I go along. Uh, also, the uh, bodies are decomposing twice as fast in the graves. Otherwise, you will be needing gazillion graves because they keep dying all the time, don't they? So they have half the the, um, the time before you can reuse a grave. So that is excellent. Can I make... Actually, I can make this one, yeah? But it's only architecture improvement, so... But let's do it anyway. Where should we put it? Where? close to where they are. There you go, put it there. But I'm not going to give it the priority so people can do it as they see fit. Actually, I'm going to make sure that it's only a few and not everyone dropping everything they have. The second there is a stone in camp, not going to happen. There you go. We need to be a little bit smart about these, these things. Because the building um, adherence is still extremely high. I mean, it's as high as, as farms. Oh, oh, maybe even higher. It's uh, quite high. Super high. 150 reed. That means that we are going to get a reed hut right now. And I'm going to place it right here. Here. There you go. Ah, oh, what kind of knowledge have you improved? Let me have a look. Oh. Is that leather working? I think so. Improved leather working. 
So this is helping us to not have these dips in the lesser used skills or the lesser used knowledges. Because of course, when you've lived for like 10 years in the same locality, the fishing is low, the, the, the wild produce is low, the hunting is low, everything is low. So some of these knowledges could have a few dips because you don't have such a high activity anymore. So you need to calculate this when you're playing to make sure that you're keeping your skill levels up. But if you dip in skill levels, don't despair because Margrams will always bring them back. I have yet to play a single tribe in all the weeks I've been testing this that have not gotten back lost levels within a reasonable amount of time from either self-improvement in tribe or via Migrants. So do not worry too much. Don't worry too much about it. Ideally, we should never have dips, but when a generation dies without teaching away their skills, it is a natural result that skill levels will be lost. All techniques will be lost, just keep that in mind. You can avoid it to a very large degree. Fishing is difficult to avoid because the pools will not be improved no matter what you do when you've been there for a long time. They will be few. She's a small red on stone working, but she's okay, she's a bit clumsy, I think. Oh no, dumb, so a little bit dumb. That's fine, I don't mind that at all. I think we can all be a bit dumb every now and then. Doesn't mean that there's no IQ. Or that she can't work well or rock at whatever she does. It is what it is. We are who we are. It is all good. Okay, so you can see they uh, they covered quite a few of the cells with those six uh, seeds, didn't they? They were quite efficient because all my farmers were really good. They didn't have insane skill in agriculture. But then again, the max tribe level is not insane it's very very small it's like what is that eight percent or something no six six percent i love that we can see how much it is now six percent so it's not high this means in theory that you can use less people the higher level they have the higher skill they have in this uh, knowledge in agriculture so this is a good thing this is an absolutely fantastic good thing i just absolutely love that you can allow tribe, that tribe can figure shit out themselves and not only have to rely on migrants. It's back to being authentic and I'm so chuffed about that. You have no idea how happy I am about that. Super happy. I'm so happy, I think I'm gonna open a Baileys and, and enjoy some Baileys. <laughs> I'm an adult, I'm a loto. <laughs> not gonna drive. Not driving, not doing anything, just enjoying ancient cities. Gosh, it looked like a cow from far away. I think, what the heck is that kind of animal? It's a, it's a beehive. <laughs> Gosh, I need glasses. It looked like a cow looking a bit backwards, or perhaps a deer. Ah, oh, doesn't matter. It's not important <laughs> what I see. But it's, what's it called when you see pattern where there are none? Where you see something when there's absolutely nothing? Pe Peleodalia? Paleodalia? Peleodalia? Paleodalia? Something to that effect? We all have it. It's the brain's need to make sense of things. So it's quite um, normal. Yeah. Do I like housing? No, I don't. It's just some latecomers sitting around the fire, probably sharing a Baileys. Who knows? Or whatever kind of of alcoholic uh, drink they had, mute or ale or... I know very little about the, that from back in those days. Oh, I should probably make um, bags, bags almost, uh, baskets for the finished product, produce as well. I'm going to place it uh, around where they're sitting. There you go. One for fish and one for dried meat. So I'm going to wait a bit longer. I want bifaces and then I want to spam a few bifaces and use up the critical materials that we have in this area so that I, I migrate with like 50 axes and 50 <laughs> bifaces and a lot of tools and ropes. And uh, then I have uh, a huge advantage to start to get up the farms for the next locality. Yeah, you're okay. You're not improving anything. You're improving stone working. I'll take you, even though your grades are not the best in the world. That's fine. You're good. You're good. 
that I'm going to get up more reed huts because uh, they are such an improvement. They are plus 18. So this is good. So they will likely have both reed and rope needed. Maybe sticks to be repaired. Okay, so let's have a look at this one now. So this one is still usable, yeah? But it's a time to repair it. So it seems the leather has been increased with one only and not that you need extra. But let's see when it goes, if it goes um, yellow, meaning that you... you need to consider not sleep it in sleep in it anymore because it's about to be dilapidated shouldn't take too long should happen during the day because during the day it's not during the day it's during weeks isn't it it's two weeks in one day now isn't it oh it was repaired so quickly <laughs> okay then so you can't really notice it on the small ones and maybe it's not happening on the small ones maybe it is the big ones because uh, they want to do the hardcore Neolithic more hardcore, so maybe that's uh, why the uh, pelt hut does not have it. But we shall certainly see on the straw and the big reed huts. Oh, you're lacking... Uh... Oh, I put up a ton, didn't I, without pausing any of them, duh. Yeah, I normally do one by one. That was my bad. Uh, sometimes there's a little bit delay in the updates for the, win for the knowledge window, so you just open it and close it again and then it's sorted. Oh, I'm going to hover over this one and that one. Ta-da. This one. Ta-da. See? That's how you get rid of it. <laughs> okay, so you can have uh, the fish and you can have the dried meat. Yeah, they need to be max priority. There you go. So nice. And we have 56 here. Yeah. I guess we could, in theory, chuck down another of the big straw huts and then get rid of the little ones, because there's still people who have to sleep in those, isn't it? So we're just going to do that, and as soon as people come out, we're going to make sure that uh, they don't sleep in those by just uh, either pausing them or Xing them out before nightfall, because we need to make sure Oh, look at that. What is your knowledge? You have increased your architecture. Look, look, look. Quite a bit. She has increased it quite a bit. You can see it in tribe as well. It's quite a bit of green there, isn't it? That is really nice. You go, girl. You build and get bright ideas to improve stuff. Excellent. This is congruent. Ta-da. End of. No more discussion. This is congruent. If you as a player still want to complain, I don't want to hear it. Because this is how it should be. This is how it was. Oh, I want to check you out. Oh, hang in there. How much do you need repairs on? Okay, so the straw is basically gone. So you need, you need basically the same amount that you used to build it in order to repair it. So basically, f at least on the smaller objects, it is only that they have... Uh, letting the, the, the repairs not start until they are back to basically zero on the last material they added so you're basically doing the rebuilding the last phase of the rebuilding every time you need repairs but you only do it like uh, with, with twice the time between so it's kind of the same you know the difference between repairing it once a year and using 50 straw and then repairing it every second year and using 100 straw straw is none there is no difference it's just the time between them the straw usage is exactly the same i don't mind this this is fine it's either or it perhaps means you will have a bit more waste of material so it's not necessarily fantastic but it's nothing i mind as long as it's just straw if it's reed i will be a bit more unhappy i have to admit but you need to adjust, basically. You, you just adjust, that's all there is to it. Okay, so this one will be done today. No, it won't, because uh, I did not know that the normal huts would take 100 straw. I'm going to be cocky and remove these. So that means we should have, unless we have babies, or we will lack. 
Oh shoot, we're gonna lack, aren't we? Because we're 30. Ooh. Ooh la la. Are we not gonna lack? Oh no, no, I bet the reed hut. Never mind me. I forgot I bet the reed hut. Oh shoot. <laughs> we're good, we're good. This one is coming along. That means they will get better prey options. But the praying is still very reduced in um, in hardcore or normal. It's uh, normal on expert is more normal, and beginners is extremely lenient. There's basically no no diminishing in beginners. If you have any insight, you probably will be bored in beginners, unless you play fast. You can play beginners fast. That makes it a bit more difficult. But you have more food. But it goes much faster. But the food will be a lot more so you can probably live a hundred years same place with a thousand population on beginners uh, fast but of course there will be some kind of optimization issue perhaps if you have a million things down you have none but you have good grades i'm okay with that you have okay grades and you also have none mm, yeah no i'll take them i don't mind for more people but I really, really would like some bite faces, guys. Look at this. What do a girl have to do? This is going to take decades. It's going to take centuries before the stone walls need any repairs or maintenance. The odd, uh, the odd stone that needs to be lifted back up that has fallen down. <laughs> That's basically it. <laughs> Okay, so 120, oh yeah, I didn't see exactly how much it was. But this one is full. That means that this one is going to be full too soon. I'm going to need more, aren't I? Going to need one more. How much uh, straw do we have? We have 20. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to take away that reed hut. No, yeah, the, 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 the uh, small one or the normal size one. I'm going to take that away. since we have enough uh, sleeping spots. Oh, look at you. Is it your fishing or what is it? No, it's your, um, your crafting. Nice. So you figured out how to make bone harpoons while you were doing something else. That is nice. So now we are going to make bone harpoons. The thing with bone harpoons, you need a certain amount of fishing uh, skills to get it. You can see it's over 60%. So what you can get when you've been here for a long time is that the fishing skills will drop because you just don't have enough fishing pools because you've been fishing all the time on and off. So you're going to have to uh, um, depend on that migrants uh, bring back some levels that you will dip in and also that your tribe will rediscover some old techniques that some old men took with it. Ah! We got my faces! You go, girl! Okay, okay, you're a bit feeble, but look how smart you are, though. Look what you did. You created uh, my faces probably by doing some, um, some uh, stone work. So that is excellent. Okay, so now we have what we want to start preparing to migrate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on that and that. Give you one more. And I'm going to give you two more. And open up this and this and this I'm going to remove. And this. And uh, I'm going to give you guys more and you guys can stay for that's fine i'm going to leave this because what you don't want even in, in normal or expert you do not want people to be unhappy when you are traveling and you can no longer travel at night to avoid people uh, getting um housing unrest lack of housing unrest because your people refuse to migrate at night they want daytime so be aware if you try to migrate during night 
They just won't do it. They refuse. I tried. Didn't work. Because I uh, manipulated the game to always migrate at night time because I wouldn't get any um, unrest when they were migrating at night time. And of course, the devs had to lily proof the game again. So they made sure that the tribe refused. <laughs> no cheating, Lily. So there. Yeah, it is what it is. That also means that I need not these. I'll put you on pause. Uh, these will be needed for repairs. And you guys will have this and this and you will also get more people. So go for it. Build, build, build and craft, craft, craft. See? Yep. Don't need that. Just pause it. I'm also going to pause these because we do not want to use them anymore. So I'm going to migrate late autumn just before winter sets in. So get stuff built guys. Go, go, go. Maybe I should wait till spring. No, then I have to wait an entire year. But I could get away with waiting an entire year because the starter feast is making sure that you have a little bit to fall back on if you migrate in a very uh, precarious time where you just don't have enough time to get up your farms. So I could use that system, uh, the starter feast system, because I put zero limits on any food the entire uh, starter feast year, which is from zero when you land until year one ticks in or the upcoming next harvest season for year one. Production year one. I'm just gonna wait till they have more. Seven axes here, yeah, good. Then we're going to dismantle the leather hut. Take with us the leather. Because there will be a little time before we get up better huts. And also three days before I migrate, I'm going to put down the labor time down. I'm going to put it one notch down and I'm going to put the labor age down as well, same time, to increase people's happiness 100% to make sure that I don't travel with grumpy people. I only want happiness. Now, that one, I want to be gone completely. I want nobody to complain about overwork at all, in the slightest, not even a smidgen. Okay, so we're building up. Uh, I'm going to use this for fish as well. And this for meat. Let's have a look at you. You are... Yeah, your improvement in tool smithing. But look at your grades. Okay, so you are feeble. You're indecisive. But you're also smart. And charismatic. Why not? Why not? A bit of winch, sure, but you're a good contribution to the tribe. Okay, so then we have, we have a six of those bone harpoons, yeah, that's good. Building more wooden spears, good. And stone axes, great. So the amount of fine raw stone you will find in each locality, at least in hardcore, is going to be extremely diminished. Like. You might find 15 to 30, perhaps, if you're lucky. And there's a reason why I never build many, many axes if I want to stay long term, because you go so quickly out of them. So if you're going to build palisades and palisade gates around a fairly large tribe, it is going to take a long time. Otherwise, you will lose uh, your axes in the end because you will run out of, of uh, fine raw stone in quantities enough to keep up the amount that you have been making. So if you're making 50 axes, it goes without saying, you will never be able to make to maintain those over several decades in the same locality. It just 
won't happen. The small drizzle coming from the rivers, from the mountains that is released from the mountains, is not big enough to keep up that many. Maybe you could keep up ten. Maybe, maybe. Ten is certainly long enough, or plenty enough. You don't need ten, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. You play the way you think you should play, or the way you want to play. It's quite simple as, simple as. Ninety-one percent is happy. A small percentage that is not, and that is going to be the work hours. Look at that. I have not improved my work hours. I have not. I have not upped them, and still they're singing. It's those with bad grades. All of them. Each and every one complaining is bad grades. Oh, she has improved knowledge as well. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at her. Um, look at her. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at these tools with me. This is a smart dude. And also the stone working. So is that the stone working or this one that has been improved? I think. It is not uh, architecture. You can see that architecture in Max Tribe is much higher. So it is. It seems to be toolsmithing. Yeah, I think it's toolsmithing. I think, I think. It's not always easy to see when they have several um, skill levels and many of them are very, very close to what the tribe max is. Okay, so now it's starting to say that we're running out of a few of the types of animals in the vicinity, but that is on purpose. I'm hunting on purpose. Because we're going to bring with us the, the meat and stuff. Yay! So he learned... Yeah, because he has to hunt. This makes sense. He has to hunt with uh, a wooden spear. And the, the, the mufflins are, are running fast. So he's thinking, F this. I'm going to find out another way to catch them sooner. So he thought about hazel bows. This makes completely sense to me. <laughs> completely. Let them uh, have fun with those. So what are we now? We are, this is the last few days of autumn. So we have how much? Uh, we have 44 fish, 17 and 100. Yeah, we have plenty of food. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the labor age down and the labor time down to try to get as few as possible being unhappy. I'm not necessarily expecting everyone with bad grades to leave because it is, after all, not hardcore. This is expert, meaning more normal. So they will be progressively more and more annoyed for not having a lot of things. But what I can guarantee everyone who plays, whether it's beginners, expert or hardcore is that when you land and within a few days you will have a combo of unrest and this is what can cause everyone to start leaving even the normal ones you could have older people dying and you have no grace that is progressively gonna build uh, unrest really quickly you can you have no housing there's no way no way you can get decent housing for absolutely everyone in just a few days and of course, the overwork. You cannot have low work hours when you're starting a place. It needs to be high or default to get stuff done. Because if you are um, torturing them, I almost said, if you have a lot of demands on them for just a few days, you could get away with having really high work hours before they grow so much uh, unrest that they're actually leaving. But if you are being this kind one and never in, increase the work hours when you've migrated, it will take many more days before you get stuff up for them, for the comfort of your people. So my suggestion is, or my recommendation is that you up the work hours when you land, after you've pleased your entire tribe first, of course, and then you get stuff up quickly and you need to prioritize. Oh, wow. Look at all the good stuff she had. 
but she she's weak. But it's just the first grade, so it's not much at all, is it? I'll take her. Just hope she gets kids that can carry on her skills. So yeah, smart thing is to do is uh, make people happy before you migrate. Yeah, before you migrate. So that you have a few days where you can torture them with max labor age and max work hours. Seriously, you need to max the work hours. So this is as much experiment for me as it will be for you guys to figure out the limits for your tribe where you are. So it doesn't have to be the same for all. It is, uh, very often there are small differences that you need to accommodate. You need to do a little bit thing different. Are you guys still getting... No, you're not. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to have uh, at least one or two more sleeps. Yeah. So now the percentage is down to six. Yeah, so we're out of fine raw stone. So we had uh, 17, 16, 17 on this place on expert and on hardcore there will be even less just saying so be extremely stingy on absolutely everything so if you calculate roughly on expert there will be between two and four new new fine raw stones every time the mountain releases them from its sides to come drizzling down in the rivers so if you can uh, somehow manage to keep the decay so that you're not creating a million axes in one go then you can easily keep up Perhaps up to six to ten axes, and who, who would need more? Nobody would need more. I mean, I don't think I've ever needed more than two, even though I had 700 population. So, um, needs to be a little bit common sense in how you do things as well, and not only harvest wildly. You don't need 50 axes. It's just uh, agree to that immediately. No need. But I'm I'm building as many as I can in this place because we are leaving okay so that's another sleep and then one more sleep and then we're going to see how that goes i'm not going to put it more down because we still need to fish and get the other foods oh i see we have pulses we managed to harvest four this year it's like i thought they come uh, they grow up as the years go by so this is going to be the last day. But then we're going to get down um, comfort first. And we are going to rely on whatever time we have left to get up what we can of the two types of farms we're going to do. We're going to do peas and, uh, and beets. But we're also, we also need to spend the first few days getting up some housing comfort and definitely fireplaces to try to avoid the combos being 50 minus in each of the unrest categories so if we can have like 10 in this and 15 minus in this and you know so that the amount the full amount is still low then we can perhaps manage to not lose too many people okay yeah this is the last night Forty and twenty and hundred plus. Yeah, it's plenty of food. Plenty of food. So today we are going to to leave. So get the pelt up down. I want the uh, the pelt and the sticks. The rest I don't care about. I'm going to be smart and say it. Okay, where do we want to go? Shall we go here? See how this is? If this is pretty with lots of mountains. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's get some speed. Okay, so here we are, new place. Let's just keep it on pause. Let's see if we can find. Oh, look at that. That's nice. 
So there's nothing left because of the time we are migrating. Well, it is what it is. We have food with us. We are okay for a while. But there's several stones here. So let's uh, focus on comfort. So what we want is the Neolithic offering. We do not want the Mesolithic because the Mesolithic is less. So up with you and up with you. And get a few of these smaller fireplaces. And we need more because we are more people. So this big one can go there. Oh. So the uh, the system where you click to get next, same. It's not same type. It's same condition. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so how many uh, we have? We can make four. What happened to all my fine sticks? Can't even make one now. Damn. Oh, wait. It is what it is. Okay, so some of these are going to be paused. I'm going to remove any extra tasks. Um, you are going to be put back to life. You are going to stay the way you are. You guys can go back to normal size with limits or do I have oh I forgot to add bifaces oh no that's the wrong one duh they're only supposed to do those two it's these that are supposed to do those and those so you can easily do 20 of those and you won't need a ton of these. I think two is probably enough as well. Yeah, like that. Uh, you guys are not going to do any work at the moment. You guys are not going to do any work. You guys are going to be paused. And you guys are going to be paused because everyone is going to clear and build. So we're going to get the fireplaces up in a swoosh. Go clear. Go, go, go. Yeah, that's one. Then we want the other ones as well, please. More people covered. Up with that one. Let's see if we can get one more. No. Okay, so we got two, but I don't want them to wake up with increased work hours. So some will be sleeping in the open. And they will not be happy. So I need to quickly get up uh, stuff. What I'm doing now is to activate those. that need to do other stuff you can wait with adding you're good you're good you ta-da and you ta-da I'm gonna make you four and you are going to be four as well that means only these guys are left well whoever is free yeah, so now people have a place to sleep at least, but that's it, basically it. 
I need to get at least one of these down. How many? Uh, yeah, no, I can only make one. Does it take 15 each? So we needed 30 to make two. But it probably won't get done. But that's fine. That's fine. The people seem to be fairly lenient on expert as well. They, of course, do not like to sleep in the, by the fireplace. They don't want to sleep in the open either. They don't like that. Let's have a look at the unrest on this one. She has exploited. She has no proper housing. But she likes the food and she has prayer. So we have a plus 10. Otherwise, she would have 39. So this is what I mean. We're trying to avoid the combos. Because alone, they might not seem like horrible. But if you have them combined they immediately get a lot worse. Oh, you can make flint spears now. Crafting by faces, yeah? See? He put two and two together. That is good. Let's get those as well. Don't need more than two. Because uh, the bows are actually a better option, to be honest. They are... Um, not having to go close to the animal to kill them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my farmers do the clearing because the others really, really need to work on creating housing for everyone. So it's less important the way it looks, to be honest. You're good. And you guys are going to focus on peace. Just get them up quickly without bothering with uh, any kind of beauty standards. Just be efficient first and then we can redo them afterwards. It's no big deal. Just let people get some materials and then we're going to quickly get down some huts before they grow too unhappy. pelt huts and also of course Atana so avoiding to do too much things that needs to be built although there's tons of things that needs to be built but bit by bit so during the summer we're going to get down the threshers as well and start to gather wheat and flax crop from the wild. If there is any, if there's not any this year, then they will be growing up from the ground uh, next year. Yeah, so we don't need to worry about food because we have plenty of food. So it's, uh, never, never travel without a ton of food because your people will be so busy be building stuff and getting stuff up. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there because I want people to pray, to have time to pray to calm down because they have to still sleep in in um, the worst place possible apart from the open which is the fireplace these should not start to soon start to sprout with rose hips okay so there's two down yeah, at least some get to sleep in uh, some huts. Hundred seventy five and fifteen. Yeah. How are you guys doing with these? It's not so important that they are actually starting to uh, plant them as well. What are you lacking? No, there's only a few pulses available, so yeah, there won't be many. Will be a few, and that's it. Yeah, it is what it is. I am going to see if these. No, not these. But no, not these. 
these can get some more. How many sticks do we have? We have 97, so I can place down two at least, can't I? One for beat and one for, for peas. So I can lock down for next season. So this might seem very um, messy and it's, it, uh, it looks messy, but the methodology is sound. On expert, you can easily do it this. On hardcore, you will not get away with it. On hardcore, you need to get off the farms the same year you land, basically. You need to make sure that you are um, migrating at later spring in order to get up um, any income from cultivated yield in production year one. Because you can only rely on your starter feast from year zero to production year one. After that, it's greatly diminished. I have a few recovery methods that I can show you, if the, uh, especially on hardcore, that you probably will never need on expert. I can do that at some other time, don't have to do it now, because it does belong to hardcore and not to expert or normal or beginners. So yeah, here are the rose hips. So I have 300 uh, of those, that means I'm going to get down the uh, straw huts and I'm taking them up a little bit away from the main fireplace which is going to be this one because I'm going to remove the smaller ones as soon as I get more places for people to sleep okay so now this can take uh, beats I'm going to do double on beats and I'm going to do double on piece because next year could if we're really unlucky, not have uh, wheat or flax yet. We will have to see. Okay, so those are up. That means I'm now going to spend logs and leather on getting the threshers. There you go. One for wheat and one for flax. I'm going to add more for wheat later, but flax is not really something that, at least I do not rely on it for food. I only rely on flax for extra plant fiber and the odd non-popular snacks of the, uh, the grains from it. Is that a beehive? No, it isn't. It's just a tree stock. Non-productive. So, let's get that one built, guys. Be efficient. So. So there are none yet. Makes sense. They should not be in season yet. But as soon as they are, you guys are going to go and get them. So I'm going to add, just in case, for future, a pit for each of the other two as well. The other two cultivated crops. Oh, nice. So there's plenty of food going around. That one is done and I do not have enough for next one so that means I'm going to spend some ropes on a few dryers. We have more migrants, let's have a look at you. You're not really bringing anything but uh, you're okay, I can take you. Uh, at a later point depending on the food situation where we are where we need to uh, be more critical with uh, taking in migrants because if you if you take in a ton of migrants without adjusting your food income then you are heading for oblivion so it needs to be a bit more incremental than just you know if you get one four times a year you could actually run out of food because you need to remember that the farm will take a year before it actually produces anything that can keep people alive. So that also needs to be counted in. So I try to always make one extra just in case. 
So if we calculate roughly beet and peas, which are max yield farms, they can keep alive between six perhaps, six to eight maybe if lucky, uh, people per year. That is if we calculate that uh, each person eats between um, 14, 16 to 26-ish units per year. Oh, look at the boars. Look at them boars. Okay, so let's get those done. So the flax will only always be one farm. We will not make more. The wheat, I would like to have many of. Because if you have ovens and mills, then it is very economical. Because per two sheaves of wheat, you will get ten bread. Or unless they've changed it, and I haven't noticed. We will find out. Sooner rather than later. Let's go. So we have one wheat. Yes, happy about that. <laughs> happy about that. You know wheat. But yeah, we're going to plant it uh, next season. Definitely. Oh, I'm going to try it clear this one. Okay, so we have half a sheaf or a less than a unit of flax. That means we need we need um, two full units to get one grain. Because one unit of sh uh, wheat or flax sheaf gives only half a grain. Yeah, that goes for all the difficulties. It's the same on all. So you need two of each to get a full unit of seed. 26. Ugh. You know, I think I'm going to re reject you. I'm sorry. I don't want more negative grades. I'm in a position where I can actually choose this. I can be a little bit uh, picky. Are they done clearing it? More or less, that means you guys are going to take over. Still have only half a unit. And we have none to be thrashed. But there's still time, so as soon as I have one full unit, I uh, create our flax farm as well. Nice. Honey always popular so i have 262 so that means i can get more straw huts getting more straw huts down is a good idea <clears throat> we do want one of those as well Although these are still okay, still plus. Oh shoot, we forgot tombs. Oh, dude. Let's get down a few quickly, 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 quickly. Dang, who is it that is lacking tomb? Let's find out. Or in the start when so many people are lacking housing, there will be so many unhappy faces. I can just as well go through them like this. Just as time consuming. Well, I'm going to be the last one in the list, really.
Or maybe, maybe, maybe they don't have a family. Okay, let's do this instead and see who has the skull. Oh wait, there should perhaps be a, a different... Ah, duh. I knew there was a different way, I just forgot how to do it. This one. She has no... Oh, she has no family. That means that nobody will complain. Oh. Mm. We were lucky there, weren't we? Really lucky. It also helps not be seen now, Lily. You knew that you could just check Chits and Tab to see who did not have a grave. You just forgot. Dang it. More Baileys needed. <laughs> Let's get more of these. 80. They are slow, aren't they? But that's because they're probably doing a ton of other things as well that I'm ordering them to do. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry about the small fireplace. We are um, trying to do as best as we can here. Oh, they got uh, quite a few of them done, didn't they? Yeah, that's excellent. And also some of the uh, the beats. They were a bit slower on the beats, or a bit uh, delayed on the beats because the beats were almost out of season. So, yeah, I'm going to open them up and just let people eat them. But look at that. We now have three of those, and we have one full unit of flax. That means we are, in theory, chucking down flax as well. So one is enough. No need for more, at least not in this size tribe. We don't probably need even one, but I just want to, to keep the, the seeds um, alive. Because they do diminish in the wild. Remember that. You need to be really careful with your seeds. Oh! She didn't teach away her skills before she died because she was really old when she discovered them. Okay, so that means that we can't use it. Are you serious? Okay, well, hopefully someone will use the um, the food processor and, and discover stuff or we get more uh, migrants that will up the skills. This is a part of the, the dip that I'm talking about, the dip in skills. So we did not have enough grains or enough wheat or flax uh, to up anyone's skills because we did recently just get pressure so we went all this time without anyone actually working on those skills so she died with them but it shouldn't be um, too bad no see there was only a small percentage that we lost so yeah not too unhappy about that, it's kind of expected. So how many sticks do we have? I'll make more um, storages. I'm gonna reactivate my wood choppers. They're going for big trees and they're going 30 plus meters away from the camp. Just remember that that is new. You can decide what uh, size tree you want the wood choppers to chop. And if you want to chop anything that is smaller, you just change the meters. And if they still don't do it, it means that they are closer than 30 meters or they won't touch your tribe. But then you just go to the clear zone, which is basically where you do all the work yourself. Yeah, order the tribe to clean. There are more ways to roam than one. Okay, this one is done now, so that means I can create another farmers group with four and bagel. Well, nice. Right, now it, none of them are in uh, tribe responsibility. This is good. So I will need to get up some baskets for the food I will um, put down everyone but I will only activate one at a time uh, 
There you go. Ta-da! Okay, so just let them work. Uh, 251, I have 20. I'm going to put down more straw huts while we are waiting for the reed. And I'm going to get down a haystack as well. I'm going to put it roughly here. That's fine. And the log store. That can be behind here, that's fine. So nice. So now there's tons of food, so I'm gonna stop those. I'm gonna stop those. These can continue. Actually, no, I need to stop them until I actually have, a, have the threshers functional, which might take some time. Those are not there. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Oh, wait a minute, I put it on to only one, didn't I? Because I don't need to have it completely maxed out. Um, even though you have this labor age, whoever is not in a group and have no task, they will not be affected by the work hours. So all the free people that is not doing anything but still in work age that you've placed here, they will um, not be affected by work hours. And this is a haystack, it's ready to use. Just telling you that you have built a haystack and now you can use it. Uh, you get the same information for each of your storage facilities and production and things. Even though you built it already, if you build another one, you will you will be told that it is now ready to be assigned a produce. And this is a, a really good reminder in case we build many pits and we forget to put a, a, a food type assignment into any of them. Then the system will let us know that there's a, a, a pit or whatever that is ready to be used. So then we can just click it and we get to the specific storage facility and then we can assign it the produce. So that's also a thing that is new that I think is really useful. I am, however, let me see, how many did I put? Four. Okay, so in theory, I don't need to put limits on anything because there will be small amounts of absolutely everything that comes. And you can stay there. You are okay on hunting. Hunting, fishing, and leather working, and perhaps a little bit stone working, depending on how long we can stay here. We'll have a few dips here and there. The rest should actually be okay ish. Okay ish. I've lost two. 69. You must have had some poor grades. You probably did. You were 72. You seemed more normal. Yeah. Okay. Oh, did I pause all of them? <laughs> I was supposed to leave one to be built. Uh, I also think I would like uh, to create a few storage areas because as it is now, they just chuck them down by the fireplace. You have a lot of good things and your, uh, your weaving is fine. I'll take you, I'll take you. So not all of these places need um, a, a, 
or not all of my um, products need a storage area because you have logs log storage for the logs of course you have haystacks for the for the hay so you don't need for everything Six and 20 that means we can get more of the straw huts and how we're we doing on 150 I'll do the read immediately and now I'm gonna take the read right here right here when we get um, roundhouses I'm going to let them replace the straw huts Seventeen. That means we can build one more. Yeah, build, build, build. how many are sleeping by the uh, small fireplaces okay only a few so in theory I can remove a few of them because the reed will come up now that means they will use this one and this one right 37% 37% out of 38 what the heck is that you know it's, it's actually no point having that there's no point <laughs> Because uh, we still have to count people by the fireplace, which is easier to do than doing the percentage of, you know, instead of doing 60% of 37, <laughs> at least for me, with zero math skills. 72, okay. We have 18 elderly. I need to get down more uh, graves for these people. What is that? It's just a normal bush, yeah. Okay. 260 and 11, I can do one more. One more straw. means that uh, nobody should be sleeping by the small fireplace at all anymore. Yeah, nobody by the small, so I'm going to get rid of that right now. What have you done? Let's have a look at you. Oh, it looks like you've improved the uh, agriculture. Yeah? Well, why not? All of these have four, right? So they're not in the group because they, they need to be in the group. They are in the group because there's no, uh, nowhere else for them to go because I'm leaving a few of them to be free, to not be affected by work hours. Otherwise I would just open up more work spots in the struggle group. But I don't want a ton of food. So I can also keep the limits down, keep the amount down by having fewer people and more tasks. Oh there.
Oh, you didn't manage to build it today. Okay, fine. housing. Excellent. That means I can replace these soon with another reed hut. Okay, so we managed to do this on expert normal without losing anyone, even though we didn't manage to get up any huts on the first day. So it shows that it is a bit more forgiving, actually quite a bit more forgiving compared to hardcore, because hardcore you are basically going to lose people. Because they are uber uber grumpy. Did I say they are uber grumpy? All grumpy. Oh gosh. That was complete blackout for a moment there, wasn't it? This is the best. This is the best uh, nature. Look, oh gosh, it's so beautiful. Reminds me of uh, northern Norway where I grew up. I like it dark, snowy stormy very cozy okay you guys can't contain some of the nuts before they rot away darn it and that's it you can wait oh you've improved more oh on leather working okay okay that's fine that's how you can see what kind of, of skill they have in, improved on. If you're quick and not playing on fast like me, if you're quick and clicking them, you can see the activity they are doing, whether it's chilling out and then sharing stories by the fireplace, or they're actually working on the thing they just discovered something about. So there's two ways of, of getting improvements. So, yeah. I want back those levels, please. But this is weird. Um. So the farms already were down. So let's see. Oh, am I going to get it back now? I am. <laughs> See, that's what I told you. Don't be disheartened. It comes and goes all the time. If you don't keep up the skills, if you don't have any activity, you will lose the skills. Now, sooner than ever, because the time is now halved. So people die a lot faster. So we have one of those. And, okay. So that one should, in theory... So they are uh, planting it now. Yeah, good. So we get some. So how is this group? How is this group working? How well are they working? No. Oh, it's this guy, but he has some good stuff, so he shouldn't be too slow. And this one is actually quite excellent. He's to be fine. You can see how well they are working on their skills on various um, in various groups and doing various stuff and this is the way to do it the system normally rotates these uh, these people very well how about you oh it's you again <laughs> it's you <laughs> oh I should probably lock this one down and this one as well. oh, a bit much I can open it up it doesn't matter I'm, I'm going to open it up later. A bit, a bit, a bit first. So, everyone has. How much? Uh, 71. Actually, I'm going to build another straw hut and then take down both of the pelt huts. But, 
need straw hut up first. You're lacking seeds, aren't you? Yeah, of course you are. Oh, you can create large benches now. But we're quite happy with the small ones, aren't we? We can make a few large ones. Don't mind too much. Fine. Don't mind people sitting and resting on the benches. So, what can we make here? So none of these gives stone working, so I'm going to use some of the stone to make some nice fencing. Hopefully the, uh, the work will create some ideas on how to improve a little bit. I'm not going to do too much though because uh, I just don't have time to let so many of my tribe not do other tasks so let those work on there because we have some food to rely on and not a lot if it gets uh, bad then i will just pour some of the uh the fence sections yay our first large bench whoop de doo yep keep busy See, they have nine now because they managed to get a few done. This is good. This is good. Look, look at them harvesting the, the flax now. Yeah, that's excellent. Okay, so I need more storage areas, uh, storage facilities. Always a good idea to get uh, storages down quickly. Okay, so the beets have been waiting for a year. <laughs> They're going out on day. But uh, yeah, it has been planted plenty anyway. And we have 120 of the sticks, so I can get down a few more of these pits. Let's just uh, place them here. these first so the 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 speed I actually quite like even though it produces more stress but at the same time it is a bit easier because you can feed more people with your farms because uh, they only eat two meals per month and on uh, on on hardcore and on expert normal they eat uh, they eat uh, four meals per month but on beginners they eat uh, six meals per month so hardcore slow will be the hardest one to do because you need more farms to feed your people because they eat a lot more <laughs> a lot more but i am quite fond of, fond of the the fast speed hey Get out, get out, get out. Quite fond of the fast speed, I have to admit. Yeah, this is going good too. Oh, 
Oh, we can make Neolithic grand houses. What? You were working on a pit. You were working up your architecture. Yeah, you were. Yeah, girl. See, it hasn't quite. Oh, it has. It has updated. Yeah, maybe they worked on that. Optimization. Right. This means that my mod gatherers will have a lot more work to do. You will gonna be. You will be needing 750. Ta-da. This one is going to stay on neutral because it's going to contain um, cultivated food. There you go. None of these will have any high priority. Oh, I have too little food. Yeah, I can see that. Forgot about it. Gosh. Let's get some fishermen. We don't get any famine. On hardcore, famine is like almost at instant. It's like once one to two sleeps and people are dying. So it's uh, hardcore and fast. It's, uh, it's brutal. Very brutal. can be opened this one can be opened this is fine and this one can be opened what's just left of this one yeah it's almost done so that one can be opened too and people can eat up those yeah Pretty good. I'm gonna let them um, fish and hunt a bit extra and then I'm gonna turn it back down again. So that was the warning system telling me there is way too little food. Look, half my tribe is uh, starving. And now it's, uh, yeah, and they go hungry overnight as well. Don't forget, when you get starvation, it's a disease that takes a, a long time to recover from. So even though you have food, and you had food for one or two sleeps, it might not be enough to get them out of terminal starvation, and they could actually still die. It's um, horrendous, isn't it? But it is what it is. So this should go down and down and down. So the, the thing is, since we only had like a day or so, or less than a day with too little food, we managed to, to keep the starvation at bay so nobody's having any long-term ill effects. So this is important to remember on speed as well. You don't have a lot of time to recover. It needs to be instant or you will lose people to starvation, especially on, on hardcore as they take so, so little to, to reach fa uh, fatal starvation. It's very stressful, but uh, it's exactly the way I want it. I find it extremely attractive. It's stressful. Love it. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. I'm going to let the tribe uh, do some work on their own for a bit. Not butt in too much. How are we looking with the mud? The mud, why is the mud coming in so slowly? Are you guys busy doing everything else? Or is it quite far away? So if you check the descriptions and the thoughts on your tribe members, they will let you know what they think. So they do like the big straw hut for sleep because it's a plus five, isn't it? And they also, of course, love all fresh foods. So any fish, any meat, 
any berries, any honey, absolutely love that. They don't love uh, eating the bone marrow and they don't love eating the roots, but we already knew about the roots and they are not particularly fond of the flax grains or the wheat grains for that matter either. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's get some more mud in, ladies. Keep working. Okay, so that part of the stone fence is done. I'm going to add a bit more. Maybe they can uh, do some discoveries. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'm going to let them finish working on there before I start fiddling with anything else. Everybody has a place to sleep. No, you're not hungry. You just didn't eat before you went to bed. Come on. Come on. I'm going to chill on the hunters. They're going completely haywire, aren't they? Hey. And I'm going to chill on the fishermen as well. I'm going to put it to, to two. That should do it. Because uh, now the beets are about to come in. Oh. That one needs to be uh, taken care of. One tribe, go strip it. I took down the amount of hunters, so that also took, a, took away what one was working on. That wasn't so smart. <laughs> Ooh, stone sickles! What have you been working on? Yeah, you go, girl. We are going to make stone sickles. We basically have everything now, everything we could think of. 20, you can do 50, yeah, that's fine. That's all good and dandy. How many people do we have? We have 38, yeah? So I'm gonna um, see, okay, 60 females, there are quite a few females below the, the male count so the the population is not going to be insane but uh, that's fine as long as the trend overall is upwards no matter how small it's uh, it's okay there has been a few uh, before this patch and the previous, uh, they had their issues with that the population did not grow after a certain time. So the devs have uh, upped the, the migrant fragrance frequency and also, of course, the pregnancy probability to increase that. And in testing, it looks okay. But you need to be careful so you don't have explosive population growth by accepting everything that can walk and talk, basically. So, yeah. I'm going to take down the workhouse again. If people have time to pray. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Almost 500. Only like a few hundred now to, to build the roundhouse. And I'm going to put the roundhouse here, I think for the straw huts. But this one should be pretty full. It is pretty full.
Yep. Ooh, we can create altars. I'm gonna make an altar. You know why? Because with an altar, I can keep my stone working a bit up. So I'm going to let uh, tribe work on that. And I'm going to put it here. Here. There you go. And these need to be filled as well. But I'm not going to give it a high priority because I want people to do other things first. First things first. Oops. What am I forgetting? You can be there. Okay. Are they done here? Yeah? Good. Now they have that fence. Very straight. Very straight. Oh my word! Will you get out of my crops? Damn! So the devs have added so that the animals, all the prey, are much more afraid of humans. They run much sooner and much further and much faster. But uh, by heck if I can see it here. Look at them. Hovering around us. Do you want to be domesticated? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You want to live here? And have us feed you? Yeah? You don't have to run around and get fed? We will feed you. Promise? Yeah, I'm not sure we want to domesticate deer. <laughs> deer, deer. Here, here. You can be friends with us, but we do not domesticate you. That does not belong. Okay. Wells. Well, well, well. Let's get down a well. Where are they? That are some water. Water. Sure, why not? I'm not sure I should put it there. A bit in the way of everything, isn't it? How about there? Ta da! Um, is nobody going to carry this dude to the gra this girl to the grave? Guys! Do you have no relatives? Yeah, you do. Why are you not carrying her to her grave? Oh, you are. Okay, never mind. There you go. I don't like when you take the almost the entire day. Oh, it's not the entire day. A few hours in the morning. Never mind. I moan too too soon. Complain too soon. <laughs> hmm. I think not, sorry. Oh my god, I need to make fences. I can't get away with this, can I? Oh, I thought I was gonna be able to get away with not making fences, but no. Better make fences. Okay. 
okay. Ja. I'm gonna get down a few more threshers just to have that done. Not for flax though, but for wheat. Sixteen. Let me see if I can calm you guys down a bit. Well, now we just like to have limits on the amount of, of trees you should cut down. Yeah, they go fairly low, don't they? They go really, really low on the uh, maintenance material before it calls for a repair. Don't mind that. You have a lot of leather. Do it. Oh, also, remember that the uh, priority is county now. Don't forget that, it's really important. Right now storage is our counting now. Oh, new leader. Sure. I won't change labor age anyway. try and work a bit on their own, just uh, observe and not really do anything. So I'm going to have to add some fences as well. How much sticks do we have? Okay, I'll, I'll do bit by bit then, I think. those first. It's not it's not pretty. Don't care for that. I might do later but not now. Might redo everything later. I might even migrate again. Who knows? Okie dokie. 
nice. I like that they're doing this. Uh, it's uh, really nice that they are adding that the tribe can uh, teach themselves new things. It's not it's not player control though, so that is also a good thing because it was so easy to cheese and manipulate to get what you wanted, and that's the opposite of what the devs wanted. So they figured out something else. So here we are. Wooden trails. Well then, I'll be darned. Seventy-two. You looked small, or a, maybe you had a, a, a low. Um, it was a small, statured man. See the difference between those who are very big and those who are very small. It's huge. Huge difference between them. So, do I have any graves? I have one. Oh, I should make some more. Shouldn't I? A few more until there's a, a good circulation going on. do it oh there's little sticks so it's gonna be a bit are you guys sticks yeah let's take it up a notch and you guys are only one free that's fine Improving things bit by bit. You can see that the stone working has uh, it been improved. A lot of the, the tweaks that has been done has been to accommodate the new difficulty degrees. Uh, so beginners is uh, supposed to be what it used to be because it was way too easy back then, wasn't it? It was way, way, way too easy. And, and normal is supposed to be the more normalized. doesn't mean that it's uh, easy. Normal does not need it. It's easy. Just to keep that clear. The, the, the easy part is beginners because you're supposed to have at least one place where new players can learn the tricks of the trade almost said learn the game without becoming frustrated because they're getting, getting hammered by the uh, environment and as they move on to expert they will have to work a bit harder and but of course everyone will learn from it so it's, it's a good thing that we have a place where new players can go to to hone their skills So number one that I've noticed with this, these difficulties is that they all seem to be needing the same methodology for a start. Um, although hardcore is a bit more rough, not only a bit, but quite a bit more rough, you still need to, 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 to prioritize comfort for your, for your people. That hasn't really changed, but now it's more important than ever because of the combos of unrest that will make people leave faster. So that has been overall done more harshly 
for both beginner and also for for uh, you know hardcore and expert or normal but the food has been greatly reduced in all difficulties um, hardcore has had a 75% reduction from the beginners so beginners is kind of like a party party as you go uh, hardcore is uh, hardcore <laughs> it's no doubt about it it's very hard <laughs> mills and ovens excellent look at you food processing yeah good 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 that means we can also i'm going to build a neolithic roundhouse before i make ovens and mills let that be on because it's now 724 almost where we want it and let me let's see the logs it's on 12 i should in theory activate these again there you go We have no free graves. What the heck? <gasps> One. Stop dying. Oops. <laughs> it's like I'm in World of Warcraft doing a raid, telling people, stop dying. No dying. <laughs> Look at all the elder people I've lost. I'm down to 30 population. Oh my goodness. Dude. That is brutal. This could be one of those tribes that just did not thrive enough to survive. Who knows? Could be, could be. I forgot to save seeds. Just saying, this might be fun. Should have enough uh, food in the wild though to manage a year without any cultivated food. She's got an increase in uh, stone working because we have 50% and she has 53. Let's take her. Or at least some some fields have been planted, but not all of them. Peas will not be planted, for example, because peas is not starting yet. But that's fine. Did you see? Seriously, so many of my elderly died in one swoosh, and now suddenly all my graves are free again. Right, so I hope that the, it balances itself better out. Unless this is a cursed tribe, who knows? We shall find out. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, that's the thing when they learn when they're so old they tend to be the knowledge max max skill holder but they don't live long enough to let others uh, learn from them which is a, a problem a 
probably don't make enough of these things. There you go, a bit more to do. Fill up the skills. See the big chunk of fishing we lost? That's a lot. The same can easily happen with your hunters as well. Just not active enough. I'm going to complete the uh, fence now. It's normally something you should do immediately. How many of you have bad grades? Ton of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, they keep swapping around, so... 12, 13, 13, 14, <clears throat> so this guy is old and dying, that's why he has that. You can see he has nine nine sleeps left and he's 75 but he was very huge very big so he will live for a full other year so he might be 76 or even 77 before he dies i think 76 is more likely i haven't quite done the calculations about how old they are or how many years an in-game year is for them i'll figure it out though can't be that hard is it is it is it that hard Hard maths. Well, it's roughly 12 years. 12 uh, years uh, aging per uh, in game year. Get out. Oh, finally. Let's get down a Neolithic roundhouse. Make people happy. And when that is done, we're going to do ovens and mills. But we first need uh, wheat. <laughs> we need wheat. Okay, just let them do that first. I'm going to pause my lumberjacks because they Oh yeah, you're good. You have a bad grade, but look at, look at her skills. This one as well looks good and it also has increasing the levels in leatherworking. I'll take that. That's fine. Okay, so the population is slowly going back up after the huge dip after the elderly just died. 
died off. But the females are very low. Look, they are half what the males are. So we could do with a few more females. I don't mind a slow increase at all, I have to admit. I'm okay with a slow increase. Oh, I'm back to wooden tridents and primitive hazel boats because someone has rediscovered it. Just discovered the secrets that the old man took with him to his graves. That's good. <laughs> Well, open that one up. I will save the uh, the wheat. I'm not going to touch the wheat. But the, all the uh, flax has been planted, more or less, enough at least to get another one going afterwards. I now need to ask all of these to gather what we are lacking. So this is what happens when you forget to save your seeds. Yep. I do it all the time. I should have a, a some kind of warning system telling me your seed storages are open. I wonder if there would ever be such a system. It would help me for sure. Help people who have too much to think about. <laughs> so easy to forget, isn't it? Way too easy. Well, you are two women. I think I will take you no matter. Okay, at least only one of you had bad grades. My low one. A straw. You don't need that. You don't need that. Have you improved? Oh my gosh, have you improved stone working really that much? Damn! They're not playing around, are they? Okay, so we can't get more object improvements here because the timeline will not allow us for longhouse yet. Or maybe it's also. Uh, now have a look. Could also be lack of culture. No, it, this should be alright. This is definitely alright. We've got all those, all those. But here we can see we can now discover these. And these, but we still don't have the passage to. That will come later. Yeah, and we've got all here. So we don't really have a lot left to discover. Can you see that? We are in 37 before Christ. And we have some of the few things, a few things left to discover. We have all the... Ooh, so we no, we lost the bone harpoon and we lack 0 0.2 which is 20% fishing yeah it will come back I'm sure I'm sure oh they're both fighting for straw I see okay then Okie dokie. Let's do one of the methods I use for recovery. Let's just do two for now. 
Normally you shouldn't have to uh, add same task to other groups, but sometimes, especially when there's a lot of farm work going on, you tend to be a little bit unlucky with the materials. So basically you need to have twice the amount that you used to have before. So this is roughly 250 per year in repair materials. But since it's two years between they are needing repairs, it will be 500 in repair materials. So, yeah, so get off the storages for them so they don't go too bad, so they don't rot in front of your face. I wish I would uh, not lose my, uh, my mud so fast, because it's kind of rotting. Before I have 750, I'm going to suggest that to the devs that they chill a bit on the uh, mud decay. How old are you? You have... I don't understand why it's so strict. Look at it. His charisma is really high. Mm. They also changed the leader choice as well. So previously it was uh, normally that people who had uh, the highest charisma would be the elder people, obviously, and the oldest that would uh, get selected to be the new leader. However, they've also now added that you need to have, uh, or also a factor, is fitness. This in turn then means that it's not always the older ones that will always become leaders because what could happen and what has happened many many times is that there are a lot of elder people in the tribe especially if you are a bit big and then one dies and then the next elder takes over and two days later he dies and then i've even had three leaders die in the same day so this is something that the devs have done to avoid this yo-yoing and also to avoid that it's always only the elder who become leaders so fitness also plays a part so those who are old you can see fitness going down and down and down they will not likely be chosen above anyone who's uh, full f fitness and have some charisma at least and have some age not all but at least uh, very adult we're gonna see who who, uh, who gets picked next time so did I lose that guy uh, that old guy how old did he become 76, yeah. 76 is, is a good age to reach, but he was big, so. So there's that. Well, she has good uh, grades. She has nothing bad, and she can learn everything else, so I, I welcome her. What have you increased? Leatherworking, yeah, sure, why not? Why not? Now it's been five years, going into the sixth year with uh, neutral work hours. And since this is expert, normal, normal expert, people um, who has um, lower grades or, or negative grades, fitness and will, are going to start building more unrest. And uh, let me see, we're probably going to lose them in the end. Look at this guy. He's exploited. He feels exploited even though we have normal work hours. But he does like the big straw hut for sleeping, and he has prayed. But he will be grumpy again during the day. He will come to him. And he likes the food, yeah, he likes to eat honeycombs. <laughs> so now he's uh, unhappy again, he feels exploited. He does like his house though, he does have some praying. So the plus 37 is the unrest then, and the minus is the uh, mitigation to this unrest. So his total is 30, so he's not going to leave. Even though he has two really bad grades, feeble and indecisive. 
61. Holy flip. The smallest one, the little one is hesitant. Then you have indecisive. And the, the last one is apathetic, I think. If my memory serves me right. on the fishermen. Just hope I don't lose more skills. This is the, the, the drawback to having this system that so many have wanted. Is that uh, if you don't keep active more people you go down a little bit. We have so few people I'll just take you to. You will learn and only one of you had a bad grade. Shan't complain too much. So now we have a new leader. Ta da, labor age back up. Let's do some, <clears throat> some proper work here, guys. Get some work done. Need to finish this and stop mocking about. At least another 20. 579. That means that you guys are going to build some bread ovens. See? This one is raw stone and fine raw stone. But it's only one of each, so... How hard can it be? I'm gonna pause this one so those who are gathering stone just not have to <clears throat> have it taken away all the time. I'll leave those. Uh, more changes everywhere. Weeks and weeks and weeks based on feedback from the player community. Um, and some of those who um, thought it was quite difficult before any of these tweaks I think it's um, a good idea for you to, to go and uh, almost said uh, skill up <laughs> and, and do some beginners uh, trying out of the, the tribe, see how far you get and experiment around and don't be afraid to fail if we fail all the time, we make mistakes all the time all of us, we should at least, then we learn should I add more? How many do I have? 37. And I have... Four, don't I? So it's actually three. That means I need to, in theory, get one more. Because I need to cover for 40. I'll get this one done. Get some wheat and I'll add one more high yield. Oh, wait a minute, what is that? Oh, I don't want that one to be cut. Yeah, say good, 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 good. You can have beats. So I'm going to place. these to do this one and I'm going to place these to do this one there you go oh wait I need no I don't I don't need the tribe to clear it we have plenty of time to clear it Okay, I can 
be as it is. Right, so we need to make sure that uh, they don't take from the uh, threshers and put directly to the mills. So as soon as the mill is built, I'm going to put it on lower priority. To make sure that they fill up the, uh, the uh, pits for seeding before they do anything else. Okay, no roast on. I think we need to uh, make some. You can go and gather some as well. And you can chill with those. So nice. So since the yield to from the um, fields that had too little seeds is not going to be good, we have opened up for gathering some more wild produce. Um, and as soon as the, the yield is, um, or as soon as all farms are fully planted, I'm going to put limits on everything wild again and turn down everything. Turn down the fishermen, turn down the hunters already. and she's gonna go down to this this so that uh, this one gets the wheat grain before this one then they could go back to building the altar almost halfway to make a, um, a basket for the flower and then a basket for the finished produce and that produce is going to be placed in this basket there you go Okay, I think we found the uh, almost said circulation point, the point of where we need to not keep building more at the moment. 72. This is the guy that was 76, yeah. 73. 71. 72. So they have good ages. At least those without any fitness reducing grades. Fitness reducing grades you can go down to like 69-ish. I think it's the lowest I have seen. I think, I think, I think. We used to have uh, a trait called giant or a biological trait called giant. But it's gone. I don't know what happened to it. And we also haven't had any infancy death in months. So that is gone and giants are gone. So I, I, I keep asking devs, where are they? Where are these traits? Well, why, why do we have no more infancy death? And, and why do we have no more giants? <laughs> so we want them back. Well, not necessarily infancy deaths, we do want giants, because that was really cool. Okay, so 
let's just get the tribe up and running again. none of these are needed because it seemed that a lot of the farms uh, got some uh, planted anyway even though it looked a bit bleak for a while yeah that's fine hmm. no you have increase in woodworking i'll take that because your woodworking is 45 and ours is 43. I'll take you. Yep. So remember that the best place to store anything is always in the wild. So wait with the harvesting until you actually need it. At least the food. Be careful with having too much food because it so quickly get wasted. How much sticks do we have? 90. I'll make a few more uh, pits. my choppers again because I want to make another roundhouse I'm also going to increase the uh, 6,000? No that's all I wanted to do. Oh my god. 600 is what I wanted to do. <laughs> Christ. This system where you can type that much is still messing with me. I'm never gonna get used to it. Ever. <laughs> what have you discovered? Uh, I think she discovered some leather working. Maybe, maybe. No. Oh wait, did I turn off the work hours? I did. Oh my god. <gasps> Sorry. Oh gosh, if this had been hardcore, I would have had people leaving already. <laughs> <sighs> oh crikey little sticks. Yeah, I'm, I've turned it down. I'll turn it down one notch more so you can recover a bit. Sorry. Look, I'm making bread. That will make you so happy. Please. <laughs> Please let it make you so happy. Uh, okay, we have 849. We have enough for everything we want to do. Plus, minus. So the, uh, the yield from these farms is just tiny, obviously, because the farms are half the size and they used to be around 250-ish after the first initial uh, crunching down of all food and now they are like half of that 
like 125 max absolute max so it's not a lot of food so i don't think anyone on normal speed or <clears throat> slow speed will ever get a, a very very high population because you just don't have enough farms to feed them it just doesn't work but yeah we shall certainly try we shall do our best so they go so far down <laughs> crikey workouts I'm sorry I have to put it back to neutral again we can chill it a bit later I promise what have you done oh yes we have improved the uh, architecture just need the longhouse to come visible soon it should be visible now actually shouldn't it at least you don't have any bad grades and you can learn everything else so here we go seem to be struggling a bit to finish because the uh, tilling on the uh, pea the pea farm started so some of them divided themselves up they divided them up and then went to different farms and I can't really afford that so I added a few more people to those two who are uh, having more than one farm We are not really struggling with uh, with fibers. I'm gonna take this one and transform it into uh, beets. Not sure I have enough beets though, but I'm too late for uh, too late for wheat. So do whatever there's left of the beets. Just complete the wheat farms, yeah, good. So yeah, the uh, amount of people needed needs to be adjusted based on their skills and also of course the gain speed you have. Because it's on fast, on hardcore, you need like eight people to do, to do one farm, it's insane really really difficult to, to get anything going I mean I think if I can manage 100 population I think that might actually be max of what I can do before famine whacks me over knocks my tribe down to half the size <laughs> ah it is difficult and I love it Okay, you have bad fitness and you are very small. That's very adorable. She's minus four. 
Oh god, she's the worst. Frail is the worst. So she's minus 40 in fitness. So her fitness is only 60. Ah. Oh. But she's smart. She's skillful. Look at her. And she resolves. Yeah, she knows what she wants, even though she's tiny in a few ends. Oh, wow. Oh, look. Hunting and fishing going up again. Good. Good, good, good. See? And now we're suddenly at 42. Weren't we just 30? This is me accepting everything, basically. Want to have a population a little bit higher. The females are looking better with the numbers, so... Just had a baby. A little baby. Who your daddy? No, they don't like flax grains. We know. They are not fond of flax grains. At all. Don't need... Uh, that but you're going to be a support group for the straw sorry it's exactly what you're going to be and you guys now i kind of need you to do the sticks because we need to keep the uh the ben benches almost said the fences <laughs> need to keep the fences okay have enough to do I'll take away these two and also take uh, take this one away mm -hmm. Did I make five for us since we now are over 40? One, three, five, six. <clears throat> I can't count. I need to uh, get some numbers on these farmers. Oh, look at her uh, hunting. I'll take her. I don't care what the other one looks like. She had a lot of hunting. Look at the, the big jump she gave us. That's great. I forgot what I was doing. Oh no, I was not There you go. <laughs> I was naming these or putting numbers. Oops, putting numbers on them. Oh, I forgot to change name on my uh, on my tribe. What are we gonna call it? Death and decay. I think that's suitable because you're probably going to die horribly. So now that everyone is so busy with the farms, uh, if you don't have enough maintenance materials in the camp, this is what is going to happen. It is what it is. The graves are open. That's a bad omen. Oh gosh, we're gonna go to famine, aren't we? So up the fishermen a bit and uh, eat what they can of whatever is left of the seeds. They won't necessarily love it, but it's better than the kick in the teeth. Oh, it can so quickly go so titty up. 
not long till the uh, the beets are ready for harvest now. How many wheat do I have? One, two. I'm going to make uh, the rest of the space as well. I'm going to let uh, peas have a part of it and then I'm going to do wheat the rest because I want a lot of bread for people because they really, really like bread. It makes them happy and I think that's a good idea. So I can probably chill on... Oh no, never mind. How old are you? 18. Well, you're not dying yet, at least. You are a big girl, aren't you? Yeah. See, her fitness is great, which is probably why she, uh, along with her charisma, of course, which is why she um, became leader. Makes sense. Because she does have good charisma. She's weak there, but she's uh, strong there, so she's plus one. Can you see that? She's minus 16 weak, but she's plus 17 in fitness, so she is, um, she's plus one in fitness. <laughs> oh, you got fishing, I'll take you. See, they're coming back bit by bit. This is good. Uh, mm, 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 mm. So I think I'm going to chill on the fishermen. I think, yeah, so using those for emergency is, to me, completely okay. So they're basically, basically ready to be harvested. What kind of, is this, is this blackberries? I think it is, isn't it? It looks like blackberries. They are welcome. So now I'm not going to forget to close down. Close down these. Important. If you want your seeds, you need to save them. So I could really easily have had a horrendous time in there. I had a few people threatening to leave. But uh, I did not uh, lose anyone. It's uh, seriously, if this had been hardcore, I would have had people leaving and people dying without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. I think I would like to get rid of the reed hut and instead build another of the roundhouses. So uh, I'm going to up that again to 750. And then I'm going to, what did I put the reed on? 50, yeah, because I only want the storehouses. I'm going to build a storehouse in a bit. But I just need to make sure that I don't cock up the food again. Oh God, it's so quickly, isn't it? I had one, one season of low yield because I forgot to save seeds and I almost killed my tribe. So it's not exactly forgiving on expert either, I'll let that be known. You can't sit and twiddle your flipping thumbs and you certainly can't be senile. <laughs> no senility while playing this. <laughs> Otherwise you will have issues. I was lucky that I wasn't uh, in, in such a deep shit that I feared I was going to be in. I don't have an editor, so all my swearing will be unedited. <laughs> it is what it is. This is not for the younger ones of those faint of heart. <laughs> you need to get used to the way I talk. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Did you know that people who swear more um, are more trustworthy because they say what they think without manipulating or lying or coming up with some other bullshit? That's that's my excuse. It's the only excuse I have, and that I'm not a Norwegian. It belongs to the culture. I swear. I swear. <laughs> it's not that bad, is it? Well, I can swear much worse in Northern Norwegian. I mean, English is uh, sometimes English is a bit ridiculous in the way they choose to swear. You know, you old git, you old fart, you twat. <laughs> Plonka, <laughs> all these ridiculous words. <laughs> it's quite funny though. <laughs> Brits have this amazing, seriously dry, snarky, very thinly veiled, 
insult sense of humor. It's hilarious. <laughs> you can't be thin skinned though. You can't be thin skinned. It's the same in Northern Norway. If you're thin skinned, uh, people are going to have to walk around you on eggshells because the people are so straightforward in Northern Norway. What you see is actually what you get, you know. <laughs> But you know, when, you, when you've when grown up with it, you kind of have that sense of humour uh, as a part of your of your personality. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. You kind of miss it when you don't have it anymore. I know how much I miss the Northern Norwegian sense of humour when I moved down south in my youth. And uh, Southerners are so boring in comparison. I'm so sorry to anyone who are from southern Norway who's listening to me but compared to northern Norwegians you guys are nothing you are so pale in comparison when it comes to humor yes now I've insulted half of Norway <laughs> I've insulted all of England <laughs> yeah this is a good way to get subscribers Lily <laughs> They subscribe because they hate you. <laughs> oh no, oh, this is just my personal opinion, doesn't mean that it's correct, it's just what I think. And in the grand scheme of things, it matters nothing. But yeah, I was gonna tear this one down, wasn't I? But I need to wait till I have more mud. Uh, 26 I can chill on the lumberjacks. But I do like that they no longer go blindly for whatever is closest. It means you can have a bit more beautiful, um, you know, forested area around your camp without worrying about letting loose the horrendous lumberjacks that kills everything in their sight. But this is good. I actually quite like this, I have to admit. That was a good move, a good move. Okay, so we're getting in the wheat. We already have the... Oh my goodness, look at the yield on the beets this year. I have one, two max, and they gave three or so. So that means in this area, which is to the far east in region two, almost bordering region three, to be honest, the lower part of the French Alps is basically bordering the uh, region three, which belongs to the area where the cultivated food is higher in yield so this can make sense so this means that uh, we could actually feed eight people ish eight ish perhaps even ten perhaps even ten if you consider between 14 and 26 ish unit because this we need to calculate the kids as well Right? We need to calculate the elder that eat less. We need to calculate the women that are pregnant and our have kids that eat more because they eat for two at least when the child is born. So there's a lot of calculations. And they are way too complicated for me to do. So it will be a very large approximate. So when I say between 14 and 26, it actually is between 14 and 26. So there will be nothing more precise than that because there's no way I'm going to sit down and do those calculations per month, per sleep, per new people in the in the in the tribe, per new age in the tribe, because that's exactly how, how you have to do it, and that's just going to be a complete and utter pain in the ass. I'm going to stop playing before I do that, seriously. And I love this game, and I am addicted. That's how horrendous that is going to be to calculate. Just saying. Just keep in mind that different foods have different calories. So this is why you can sometimes see them eating one bread and be full while you see them eating four kilos of, of berries as well. But we think that one unit is one unit, but it isn't. It's calorie count as well. So just keep that in mind. But under any circumstance, always make one more than you need and don't count, don't count the flax as food. Don't count it. So if you have four farms, one of each, then you don't have four, you have three that will give you food. The flax is not counting. The yield is so atrocious anyway. So the only time you should be needing flax is when your fiber is so low in locality, you need to replenish it by not touching it at all. Which is what I'm inclined to want to do to the, uh, 
the fishermen, I'm going to put them on one. I know we're going into to winter, but I'm instead going to do... No, not you guys. I'm going to do you. Oh, that already taken away. There you go, you guys. So this is uh, one more sleep and then the uh, pea, uh, oh, peas, the nuts are in season. And we already saw we had four hyacinth trees here, didn't we? We saw four. And there's probably a few more laying around somewhere else. Like, here's uh, one, two, three amidst the uh, normal trees. So that's good. See these here? These are the new uh, tree species we've got. These are pines. They are um, the more southern pines. They don't particularly thrive in, uh, in northern uh, parts of Europe. I think they are called the European Black Pine. I, I'm not going to swear to that, but I think that's the name. What are these? Well, that's a black uh, blackberry, that's for sure. Go sneak around and see what kind of fruits there are here. There should be quite a bit of mushrooms around in this area because of the, the mountains blocking sun and uh, oh, I'm lost. Where's my camp? Oh, there it is. And we've got twice the size that we can and migrate in. Look, look, oops. Look, look at the square. It's twice the size it used to be, so it's huge. Look, if we had boats, we could swim from anywhere in, in England over to France, Hol Holland, push up a bit, <laughs> France and France and France, <laughs> oh, Holland and a smidge in Germany. So here we can basically go from the Alps and over to Italy. And but then we are of course out of the Atlantic European region, of course, because that they belong to. It's the Mediterranean. They belong to. I don't remember. Atlantic is only countries that has connection with the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let me see. You are supposed to be this way. Okay. So 750. That means that this one can go. Because we have 500 of those. We have. 20 thingies and we have all we need besides I'm gonna get down you you're gonna take the place of the reed hut oh gosh the only thing that I did not count was the silly billy raw stones yep I put them pause that one so that means that we We'll prioritize this one instead. It'll probably be very quickly. I'm not worried. Not at all. Okay, my old people are starting dying again, I see. Yeah. What are they? Are 16. Yeah, I would like some more births, but so I'll, I'll uh, balance it with migrants because that is one way you can do it. Because uh, I've been harping on about this to the devs. We do not want this explosive population growth because it's impossible to keep up. It's absolutely not going to work. So then uh, the, the choice was to turn down the pregnancies a bit, but to turn up the migrants and to lower the of average age of the migrants to try to combat this explosive population growth with all the pregnancies we used to have. So pregnancies have been reduced a bit, but we are getting back uh, what we need with uh, choose cherry picking the, the migrants basically. So don't be despaired if you have some small dips here and there because migrants will come and fill it for you. You have increased uh, you have increased agriculture, that's good, but you have a, a will dependent grade, how much is it? Indecisive, yeah, that's bad, the second one. And you have no good, good, um, skills you have good skills but they're nothing that beats what we have but you have no bad grades so um and you're female i would take you yeah you would do good to 
So 5 times 6, what is 5 times 6? 30. So we have 38. What is 38 plus 8? 46. And what's 46 plus 8? 54. 54. So we have, when this one is up, we have enough housing for 54. So you can see we can house another, another 9 when that one is up. Yep. They also move the dead people that dies in their sleep in the straw huts underneath so that they shouldn't take any spots in the hut, which I think is the correct thing to do. And then of course they are quickly burying them. And poof, my graves are filling back up again. Crikey. Yeah, there she is. Mm -hmm. What have you done then? Oh, you're sitting by the fireplace and getting new ideas and learning stuff. That is good. Well, you are the tribe leader, so I would kind of expect you to be a smart dude, which you definitely are. You are quick, yeah, putting two and two together. So what did you improve? You improved stoneworking. Yeah, nice. Nice. That means we're getting closer to do high-end stuff like these. Look at that. Like a bit architecture for that one, and a smidgen architecture for that as well. A bit more architecture with Trilithon that we lack for for Temple Men here. Yeah. Oh, look at all the elder people dying now. Oh my god. It's like the, the, there are waves of the elder dying, and then you have this dip, and then you increase the population, and then you dip again. But anything is better than the, the explosive population we sometimes could have. Because that was killing the tribe and there was nothing we could do because of all the females just constantly giving birth. Constantly becoming pregnant. So it's, it actually is much preferable that you're allowed to play for several decades without being completely over overfilled with people. You can choose your population basically by rejecting or accepting migrants because they come all the time. You've seen the six years I've been playing, I must have had like 30 groups coming. Some rejecting, some accepting, all up to you. I, I do not personally want the explosive population. I want it more controlled. And this was a way for the devs to make sure that we had more player control over the amount of people we wanted to have in our tribe at any time. If you want a tribe to be small, to reject more migrants if you want it to be bigger accept more migrants it's it's quite simple the pregnancy probability should stay fairly low oh you're tiny aren't you but you're strong <laughs> he's tiny but strong <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm going to let them work a bit in peace. It's now time to get some more farms up and going. You are so cute. You can have, you can have peas. You will have peas. You're so cute. You can have beets, but you will be wheat. See that cute one there. I'll let the tribe clear it. Oops. And you, yep. I'll let the tribe work on that and leave them to it.
35. Ah, did I put them on? 35. Oh, I keep looking at the wrong one. You're on 50. Hmm, I think you're a bit overworked, so I'm going to put you on 20. And then I'm going to add another group with one. He will take care of those wooden spears on his own, his, her, their own. And I'm going to add 50. 501, yeah? 501, Lily, that'll do it. That'll do it. I actually had uh, 600 and 650 when my population was over 700. Now that was industrial making, industrial production of wooden spears for the farms. <laughs> What I really, really, really like that they did is that they gave us the option to have different types of games. So it's not only just one, you know, but there are various types depending what you as a player want. And not, you're not, you know, bound to any one type of game. You can choose so many and with the different choices are different difficulties and challenges, challenges or lack thereof, depending on what you're picking. So the, the choice now, or the variation and the range of choices should basically manage to satisfy everyone. As I think this is a great way to do it, to make sure that more people are okay with their choices, be okay with what they're playing and they're happy with what they're playing and they feel they have success and they like it, you know. So I'm really, really pleased they did it like this. I mean, it couldn't be any better. But then again, we have been suggesting it for like a year and a half that there should be difficulties. I think my first post was already in June in 2021, I think. Or maybe later, I can't quite remember. But then again, I also want a Hall of Fame for who scores highest with their tribes. So yeah, it's a lot of things we want. Oh my goodness, look at him. What in the actual F is weak, hesitant, unfriendly and dumb. But he's skillful in what he knows, which is stoneworking and toolsmithing. It's okay in fishing. Sure, I'll take him. Sure. Because we're doing okay, aren't we? We're doing okay. Well, if you're hungry, you should go bloody well eat, shouldn't you? But it's not like there's not food. Hello? This is, this is food distribution. They go far away to do some work up in Timbuktu, Timbuktu somewhere. And then they get hungry and they get more and more hungry as they walk home. And then they are creating these 2%. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> go eat. Let's see. How old are you, though? Oh, you have one of those feebles. Okay, so you've got quite a bit left. Look at his skills. His skills are really strong. But you can see why. He is both quick and skillful. So he learns fast and he learns well. And he does it well. Okay, so he might only live a few years longer. Let me see. Um, is he max skilled holder on anything? Oh, I fear he might be max skilled holder in toolsmithing. Yeah, he is. What about stone working 63? He is, oh my word. Now I just hope that others have managed to get up to his level, otherwise we're going to lose some levels in both stoneworking and toolsmithing. So this is a way that you can check to make sure that uh, if you see that uh, it's only like one who has the overall big knowledge, you, we need to get up some more to, for people to do but it seems there are quite a few more who 
Yeah, that was him. Not you, you're too young. Yeah, you got plenty. And you have improved something. What have you improved? I think... Uh, no, you've improved the agriculture. Sure, that's fine. Why not? What have you... She's got... Uh, very good in... Architecture. Mm. You're good fishing. So this is the thing with with um, people uh, growing old very fast and then dying is that, that there's very little time for your next generation to to learn the skills. But if uh, if the um, issues that comes with it, with this yo-yoing of the skills, if it continues, I think the devs are going to up the learning pace. It just uh, depends how annoyed the players are. I'm okay with it because I always get it back fairly quickly. So I'm not too worried, I have to say. I'm not uh, super annoyed by it. I'm just so happy that they took away the, the lack of congruency by locking the knowledge so the tribes couldn't uh, uh, figure out stuff on their own. And now we can, so I'm really happy about that. So that's good. We can, yay, look at him. Her. She's been fishing enough to have some improvement done, hence we got, hence we got back the bone harpoons. The luxury. Now we just need to get some bones. <laughs> Let me see. Let's uh, have others go get the bones as well, and not only one. Because then that might be a little bit less bones incoming. So was it 54 we could house yeah so we can leave leave it as it is now and try to keep uh, the um, the straw on 600 because you need to count twice so this is is one two 250 so this is 500 on their own and these have such a long time between them that the uh, um, the gatherers can manage to get enough up to do them one by one, but not like one after the other. Otherwise, we're going to need three stacks, three haystacks. And I think 600 should be. I think 600 is is the the way to go with this. If it is too little, we will soon find out, and then we can just adjust it. It's not like it's locked forever. Nothing is written in stone. Everything is adjustable. So yeah, now we're in year seven. I'm going to play roughly three more years and see if um, I can keep population steady on 50-ish. Um, I previously did a play-along for the beginners on slow and that was quite easy but I only did uh, a few hours because um, yeah, because I just wanted to make sure that new players got a hang of how to actually get started and then go for a few years because it, it seems that um, so many are they seem to be okay when they start and then suddenly goes titty up after a year or so and uh, I just show them a little bit uh, how to do it and some game mechanics that not everyone is aware of but not everything is written in the tutorial let that be said sure well, you don't have any bad grades, and the rest of the skills you can learn, and you will learn, so I'm not worried. You probably have even more children or young ones in the uh, migrant groups. Okay, they will last for a bit. So, um, they also changed the uh, maintenance and building repair or building a material that the big fireplaces needed to be built and to be repaired. 
from sticks to logs. So now it's um, you first need raw stone and then you need sticks and then you need logs. Previously you only needed uh, sticks and stones. So now you need all three. This is fine. This is absolutely fine because it was a pain in the beep to constantly gather sticks to, to get the uh, fireplace going, the big one. Because you also use sticks for the little fireplace. So it was so much sticks, wasn't it? And sticks is also so used to make weapons because you need to make fine sticks to make other weapons or tools and yeah a lot of sticks a lot a lot of sticks only lack a little bit over 400 to complete this one then we can take away the small ones because they give 30 while this one will give 60. i think it's 60 is it not 60 i'll go quickly have a look quick look it is 60 yep absolutely oh look what is showing now the passage tomb we need a bit more architecture yeah like 0 0.1 or 10 percent but we cannot see the longhouse yet Mm. I haven't built longhouses in a very, very, very long time because it just haven't been time for me to do any big cities. It's just been constant testing. No, <laughs> the one who invented okay, or remembered to make stone sickles now uh, <laughs> died and nobody... Oh my god. Didn't I up it to like 50? Oh. What are they lacking? Yeah, I know that. But before that, we had 43. How could they not reach that level? Oh, it's just a very, very small percentage that wasn't learned because there just wasn't enough time for it. Oh, you know, it is a bit annoying, I have to admit. But at least we've got some. That these are both horrendous. The traits are atrocious. I don't care about the dumb part. This one hesitant. Oh. I'll just take them if they want to leave because they can't have their will with regards to work hours, then they can leave. Nothing more to say about it. Open these now because everybody should be done, more or less. Okay, so there's nothing there. Oh, yeah, because I took away, didn't I? Duh. And we can have these like this, but like that. <coughs> no point doing flax. How are we doing with... Uh, we down the hunters, didn't I? So the fishermen are... Okay. Gotta keep the skills. They're all... Wow, look at her. All of these. are beginning to fill up again because the elderly are creeping up females are 20 yeah it's better than it was so uh, one two three four five six seven eight so if you calculate hmm they look very rich, don't they? We are fairly, fairly south, aren't we? We are. I think we should be all right with all these. We are probably are making a little bit too much, I think. 
But it seems so little, doesn't it? It seems so tiny. But then again, we are only 46. But we're going to make bread. We're going to make tons of bread. Seriously, we're going to make so much bread. Oh, I don't need to keep those 750 anymore, do I? I can take them down. To 250, which is an oven. What skill is this? Is this food processing? It is, it's food processing, yeah. Good. So those skills that are fairly regularly used, agriculture, food processing, um, architecture for the repairs and everything, they do not seem to have this, these dips. But you know, unless you spam a little bit of your tools and those who are lesser used or lesser um, uh, decaying, have less decay, they, they tend to be a bit yo-yoing. For instance, this one, it demands uh, high tool smithing and it demands high stone working so you then need to have going some projects that demands uh, stone working and you need to have a fairly high amount of things that demands the tool smithing but uh, the guys are trying to get away from the cheesing and manipulating and spamming of stuff but you kind of are forced a little bit to do it when there is a bit of yo-yoing you know so this is a, a small issue, I have to admit, a small issue. Oh, look at her uh, her uh, house, her architecture skills. They are increased. What are they in comparison? They are higher than us. She's 64. We are 59. So she's 5% higher than us. But her grades are meh. But I don't care. I will take her. <gasps> we can make temple men here now. Temple men here will give a hundred percent appeasement <laughs> that was my evil laughter by the way <laughs> pathetic <laughs> so um oh, this one is almost done so i'll just leave this one and then i'm gonna give a, i'll give, I'll give the men here too for some speed a support structure to get speeding up the praying yeah we're not at a point where we need desperate prayers to make people stay in the tribe yet. But I'm getting a migraine just by the thought of it. <laughs> the thought of having to fight for your life constantly. Gosh. <laughs> well, this is what I like having in a game. A game that throws me around a bit. A bit of a challenge. I actually quite enjoy that. Quite do. I don't mind failing at all. As long as you learn from it, you're all good. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, not far now. Until that one is done. So when you are creating a lot of these, you need to remember that you will drag people away from their groups to do the building for those and those are of course long term so having them assigned to uh, two options either assign them to a specific group or have too few materials in camp so that not everyone is running to each their stone so there are more than one way to roam I'm keeping it the uh, the latter so there is too little materials for everyone to be free to do this there's only a few who does whenever there comes a few stones in it's slow but it's good and you won't kill off your groups. Okay, so now we are going to go into harvesting more. Now we've harvested the beets. Look at this. look at the amount of the beets. That's amazing. That is really amazing. It's quite rich here. Probably because we're so far south as we are. So we are in yeah we are here yeah it's on the border of being very south isn't it because this is region uh, three and up apart a, a bit of, of then of the 
Denmark, all of Denmark, a bit of northern Germany as well, and all of Norway, of course, all of Denmark and Scotland. And and then below there again, you have region two, uh, which this belongs to, and region three is basically here. So you can see that it's very, very close to region three, hence the cultivated uh, yield would be higher. So just keep that in mind if you want to try to only live of cultivated yield. You should go to region 3 to test out how things are and then you can go up to region 1 if you want and get one third of the food. <laughs> Sure, you will you will learn those skills quickly. I do like that they've changed it so that you don't get whooshed to where the migrants come on the edge of the map, but instead you get the option to click them to look at them. So you can see who they are and what they are like, what skills they've got and stuff. Oh, he immediately went to gather bones. Sure, so eager. Quanat. These are normal trees, so when they get too big, what is this? This is not a tree, is it? When they get too big, they're going to need to be chopped down. Unless they're very pretty. They are always pretty. All the trees are pretty, but not to the point where they're blocking all my view. Don't want that. That's one of the things I didn't particularly love with the pine trees, the new pine trees. That they, they, The foliage is so covering. It's like a blanket where you're trying to play. Blank it over, it's so difficult to see. <clears throat> Do I only have one with peace? Why do I only have one with peace? No, I have two. I tell a lie, I have two. As the years go by, you will see more types or more of the types of food that already is in the environment to come up in new places. Like these were not here earlier, so these are new. Oh, my uh, fences need repairs. So when they're blue, they are still functional. But uh, when they go yellow and red, that means that uh, at least red means that the herbivores can come into your crops and trample them down. Not good. Not good. I wanted to make a storehouse, didn't I? I'm going to wait till they're done repairing. Because there's a lot of repairs to be done at the moment. Fences and houses. Yeah, I'm just going to let them work on that for a bit. Leave them alone a bit. food look at all the flipping food it shows that we are in closer to region 3 doesn't it because we don't have this amount in region 1 I'll tell you that for free there is no way you have this amount in region 1 I'm thinking do we have the right difficulty we do it's expert right yeah it's expert gosh if we've been playing in beginners I would have screamed <laughs> yeah no you can just you can check what kind of difficulty you have so hardcore has everything 75% reduced it's insane <laughs> granted the starter feasts are okay in hardcore everything else is a uh, 
sleeping nightmare. <laughs> and I like it. I like it. But if you play it fast, it's not that difficult. The difficult part comes when you are playing it on slow. Because slow means six meals. Fast means only two. Meaning you will need a ton more farms to, feed, to get those extra meals. Now that is where it becomes a complete and utter nightmare. I'm not sure I will ever manage it. I have to admit, I'm not sure I will even manage to keep 50 people okay. <laughs> I most certainly won't manage 100, I'm sure. But if you go, if you go hardcore but fast, you can probably get up to closer to 100. I'm, I'm, I think we can manage that, all of us. We just put our minds to it. Because if you watch an expert, it kind of means you have some insight, yeah? So you do know all of the mechanic basics and stuff of the game. It's basically what I can do. It's just showing you some of my methodology, basically, and just inform you of a few things that patch note either does not explain or is not on the patch note or that is not easy to understand from the way the, the programming um, code is translated into sentences, to put it like that. And then you have that they're Spanish, of course, and then they need to use translated to get it into correct English, which sometimes uh, can be a bit difficult to, to read right. So there's, uh, there's, um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that we need to be aware that this is how it is. Right. Oh, yeah, I built a, a well, didn't I? I wish there was water in it, that we could see the water, but we can't. I have three of those left. I'm going to increase, no, not increase, I'm going to activate my my lumber jills and jacks again. My lumber people. Not far left on these now at all. 80, 80 stones and then we are there and thereabouts. Oh gosh, look at the elderly. Ooh. It's going to be a, a, a huge drop again, isn't it? Because <laughs> they're all going to die. But they're all different ages, so it's not going to be like in one day. It might feel like one day, but it isn't. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? You will quickly get up to par. Oh, what kind of tribe knowledge have you improved? Let's have a look. Woodworking. Sure. Sure. Dang. Looking good. I really like that they implemented this. This is great. This is just great. I really like it. So none of, of the herbivores have managed to get into my, my food, to my crops. So that means that the fences are doing good. There is still some issues with regards to when the angles um, are not same same way. Almost said when you add a third connection point and then remove another connection point or even the same. So if you have uh, two like this and then you add a fence this way, if you remove any of or if you remove this one again, then these two will lose connection for a few sleeps before they are connected again. It's really weird. Really, really weird, but just be aware of it. So 
so that uh, when you when you are building fences and you are um, expanding your your fences or you take away the old you either leave the last one that creates the the original uh, angle or you need to remove it and have your hunters ready to kill whatever comes inside if you can't get them out again until the connection is found again between the two points because it's really weird that the connection point merges again after a while isn't it it's really odd i have a lot of elders oh gosh 67 and a lot of those who are elderly have very poor grades so she's basically dying yeah she doesn't have long left. She has six sleeps left. No, she has less. She has less sleeps left. Because it's no longer one tick per sleep. Is it, or is it? No, it's two ticks per sleep. Because two weeks. Oh, God. Is, is it three? Three ticks? Because she was six when she went to bed, wasn't she? And now she's uh, three. So that means she will be gone today. But I'm not surprised because her fitness is, is lowered. She didn't have very high fitness to start with, did she? So she, we will lose her today. Yeah, why not? Sure, I'll take them both. Don't mind at all. You can see when you play yourself that the uh, the average age on the migrants is a lot lower than it used to be. And this was made to try to combat that there were so many elders compared to adults. You can see the adults are now in plus. They are in majority. So when it goes empty like this, it's always worrying because that means there will be plenty coming soon. <laughs> plenty is going to die. <laughs> How is the food looking in it? Pay attention, I'm going to lock you. You can stay and you are going to be locked. Okay. <clears throat> so the rest of you are going to become bread. Look, we have 36 bread. Such a feast. Let me see if I can... Uh... I'm going to leave you. And you could easily have a limit. You are okay the way you are. I'm not going to do anything with you. And you are going to have a limit as well. A different limit. You two are going to have a limit. And most certainly you are going to have a limit, that's for sure. These are okay. Uh, uh, no, I don't want a limit on those, because there's so few anyway, aren't they? There should be quite a few here. I mean, we are right underneath the mountains. So it makes sense that there is more here than many other places. I kind of expected a lot more, I have to admit, and also more uh, bushes around the edges of the stone boulders, the boulders. Uh, let me see, yep, you're done. Mm, you, yep. Okay, you have fulfilled your, uh, you have, that means we could basically put you on something else, let you take those, and this is the one that takes everything, so I'm just going to let it uh, fill up with three people whenever it wants to. If it becomes too much food, I'm going to put the uh, limits on the straggler group as well. Because we're getting to a point now, we've been here, this is year three after we moved here. So now we should have all the farms up and running for the amount of people we have, plus minus a little bit. Actually plus plus a little bit, not minus. And uh, we should only try to 
use the wild produce if we are a bit in trouble and not before. This is the point of Neolithic sedentary lifestyle. It's just the, the odd hunting and, and people fishing a bit here and the berries in the autumns and stuff like that, which is quite normal and expected. Still today we do that, so that hasn't changed. So it's fine if we have a little bit going on, but not these huge amounts that we do in Mesolithic, for instance, where we are basically bleeding dry the entire environment before we move on. It was how it was, wasn't it? You followed the food, you ate what you could and then you moved on. Okay, so how are you guys doing? If I do this, because you guys got filled, not to the brink though, I have to admit. But there's plenty of seeds and uh, plenty of uh, time, January, yeah. But they did add another sleep to tilling and planting, which is great. And harvesting, of course, to, to make sure that we got things done, even though we had it on fast, which is why I can get away with having only four per type of farm, but needing another few more. When you have when they have two they need to take care of while in fast hardcore you need eight eight farmers for one farm and i'm not even kidding not even kidding while in a slow beginner you can get away with two doing a full farm yep two three people so there's quite a difference depending the speed you are having and what difficulty you're having and yeah because you have different sleeps so normal only have two sleeps per month beginner have three hardcore has one and you need to get done in one day on hardcore the same that we used to get done in four before so hardcore is absolutely hardcore for a reason <laughs> it's called hardcore for a reason let me see, uh, 52, so that means we are soon going to need another of the good huts and I am going to start saving up for one immediately. 750, I'm going to take away these two and let someone else do those. There you go. Because you have a limit. Yeah. You can see we still have food. We still have quite a lot of food. And you see people are going for the bread immediately. <laughs> they love the bread, there's no doubt about it. And you also need to remember to have uh, overflow areas, that I call it, uh, where you are saving the seeds if you need to repair here so when you take this away you see they are now gone because it needed repairs so the workers removed all the beads to repair the pit and if you have a low amount of food you need to be careful so that your tribe is not eating up that food so that's why it's so important to have an overflow pit for those so they can carry them directly from there to there and you can still save it without having the tribe eating them up yeah makes sense Why are you guys so many? Oh, because I had, I gave you six. Duh. Gotta keep an eye on these rascals.
poor migrants. Mm. You're a big guy. Sure, I'll take you. Why not? need to make sure that they don't put it in the overflow first well it doesn't really matter as such because it is still locked but if you put down the priority they will go by what you have higher priority first so, yeah So we are basically overly, we are overproducing. I'd rather have overproduction than underproduction. Underproduction is undernourishment, meaning they will be under the ground soon, they will die. Or just leave you. The majority actually leave you long before they reach a point where they are starving. They just get so picked off by your shenanigans, they just leave you. Off they go. I have two of those. Okay, I can go down on that one. I really want to pause my fisherman, but I'm so afraid I'm going to lose all skills and hence lose my uh, bone harpoons. Still really dare to do it. 73, 70. Oh, that's her. Yeah. Told you we were going to lose her soon, and we did. Yeah. stuff from the altar. Sacrificial food and stuff. There are not many Mesolithic uh, people left in my tribe. I would like them to have some Mesolithic offspring. This is good. But are they the only one? You can see the amount of Mesolithic in the tribe is very low compared to the Neolithic. Yeah, it's got good grades. Oh, she got good grades. And she got improved uh, hunting. I'll take that. Right, so we're now 55. That means I should have six farms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight. Okay. So we can, in theory, feed another five to eight people. In theory. We could have our asses under to us any day. We will find out. I hope we won't, but you never know. So even though we had our really good year now, so we had enough food to go around, we could have a really bad year this year. And like have just so much less than we, we had it previously. Oh yeah, I can see them growing. I can see you. They're very pretty. I find them so adorable and they're so beautiful with those huge leaves in the late summer when they are or in the summer when they are ready to be harvested. They're so pretty. So pretty.
we haven't done anything with uh, the uh, the grass or the uh, the reed with regards to the amounts, but the um, decay has been reduced. The decay decay has been reduced on basically everything. Kind of had to. Yeah. Look, we can open this one now because uh, the wheat is done. Whatever has not been planted will not be planted because the season is over. But everything seems to be planted. Uh, even the peas are done. Okay, go pea. Peas are the last things to be planted. So when peas are down, then you can open everything and let the tribe eat up whatever's left. Let them enjoy whatever's left of that. When it's uh, the game stops because it's saving, it always startles me a little bit. <laughs> Terrified to crash. I don't really have crashes. When I do, it's because there is a bug, not because there's something wrong with either programming or my computer system or whatnot. If it was, I would absolutely haywire and then force someone to fix it <laughs> in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I need my computer to work. I do so much work on it, you know, so it's a bit important. They're still dancing, so yeah, tribe is mostly happy. 100% year eight. Dang. 8% complain of overwork. It's those with the bad grades. Oh, are you dying from old age? Oh, your wife just died as well. And you have no kids. You didn't get any kids? Why? 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 You have two sleeps left if it is going by the um, 3 by 3 per sleep. So 7. So then she'd go down to six or was she dropping the other one dropping higher low or lower quicker because her fitness was so bad you know there's so many calculations in everything they do in these f figure out why things are the way they are that i can never get on top of it i don't even know a, a small smidgen of all these calculations i just know there are tons of them there's always some kind of formula used correct for that timeline correct for this correct for that blah 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 i don't get it it's just oh way over my head okay so that's another one lost let's see how much it goes down and then five so four yeah so it is exponential pending the the, the speed of the game obviously so the slowest rate of dying of course would be Slow, wouldn't it you know because that's three sleeps well fast it's going to be well fast because it's one one sleep per month so yeah it does make sense but i don't know why they have made it make sense put it like that <laughs> i'll leave all those calculations to those who knows what they're doing and that won't be me it ain't gonna be me but i will test it out there and figure stuff out I always get so happy when I find a nice cluster of rose hips or even hazelnuts close to where I land it always makes me happy it's like uh, the larder of nature right at my doorstep <laughs> don't mind at all uh, 54 okay that's the last sleeping spot we have now we need to make more did I up my things i did i did yay and we have 424 and not going into planting going into harvesting which is fine i'll add one here i think or over here no i think it will be better here here it's not quite accurately placed but OCD be damned. Efficiency wins. 
Oh, that was him that died. Okay, yeah, I know. And you are also... Oh, oh, gosh! That's the one that we just looked at, but I said, look how good she looks. But she's, she's a bit small in a few ends. Better to be close to the ground. <laughs> I can't remember having read this before. I might have, but I've forgotten about it. This is one of the things I also love about these devs. Their sense of humor. <laughs> Uh, my, my stepdaughter is not very tall and she used to say when she was younger that she didn't like being so small and then I just told her, well, you reach the ground, that's all the height you need. <laughs> you know, I really do enjoy that uh, the game is so... Um, uh, influenced by the gamer community that it's not like it's not like the devs have blindly followed what they necessarily wanted at the start because they still have the passion, they still have the envision of what they want. But there's also so much room for other opinions to fit into that picture of how they want the game to be. And I think this is one of the absolute favorite things about the devs is that they are so open to how the community would like things to be. The problem is that it takes time to implement things. So some people go very, very impatient, but the devs have so much to do. I mean, seriously, they are working 24 flipping seven. I regularly talk with at least one of them at bloody midnight, trying to figure stuff out and test things. It's no kidding from six in the morning till midnight, not even kidding. I absolutely love that fire they have to get this done. I really enjoy this. Really, really, really. They're so open to the community. I don't think I've ever seen a game that has any uh, developers that are so open to the gaming community and so active. They're constantly active with the gaming community. It's a huge plus. It's a huge plus in my book that they're doing that. Because if, if they weren't open to anything that the gaming community wanted, we wouldn't really love it as much, would we? Because let's be honest, a lot of the things in the game is from the gaming community. Suggestions, ideas, wants, wishes, likes, dislikes, you know? So the gaming community is the game and I love that. Being a part of this is fantastic, I think. Such a great experience. I've never done anything like this before. I worked with this. It is really, really fulfilling. I just wish more people would, would report back more regularly about what they think about the game. Instead of just the odd post here and there. Maybe there's not so much to say anymore because we're so close to release and so much of the the, the bad notes have been weeded mm. out. So it's a lot of good stuff left, hopefully. Let me see. These have a way to go yet though. Oh, look at them. So yeah, but with all these new changes that wasn't really planned for now with the difficulty degrees, the, the speed variations, we probably are set back a little bit from the release date because we still have to do animal husbandry I know they're already working on that we still have to do raiding and trading and I also know that they're already working on that as well I don't know how to get time for it there are only two yet here we are I'll take you two I don't care you can do some slave work <laughs> you can be slaves <laughs> What is this? Is this a budgeting little... I think it's a berry bush. A berry bush. We will see when it grows up. Okay, so now we have 54 plus 8 is 62. Now we can house 62. We are 54. Yeah. Year 8. And look, we had just a rich uh, uh, a yield this year as we had last year. Oh, look at that. We have stone sickle back. 
from this guy. Sure, why not? He had a big de uh, increase, didn't he? He had like several percentages in toolsmithing. Yeah, well, he is skillful, so it does make sense. I didn't even remove the, the stone sickle from the other group. I just left it in. Do we have any left? No, they're all gone. Yeah, time to make more. What are you guys? Okay, what are you two doing? You're doing ropes and fine sticks. Okay, you, I think I'm gonna, they're going to have to keep doing that without being disturbed. And you need to perhaps get one more and get some of these don't have to have the same amount in the groups you can vary the amount so they are supporting each other instead of just one carrying everything carry a little with each so yeah we have we have plenty of food which is why we put on limits on everything else as it should be I don't really dare to put my fishermen very low because now fairly young ones are getting up their skills I'm gonna leave them to it so the the, um, the migrants has also been changed to have a more varied um, set of knowledge is not only the insane overweight of hunting and fishing so that has been uh, worked on as well, tweaked a bit, and it works really well. As you can see, we have a very good um, repertoire coming from the, the migrants. So even though you don't accept all the migrants because you want to control your population a bit better, you will still have a decent offer from the ones you do accept. Because uh, they seem to, almost every one of them, have some good upgrades for you it has rarely been that the groups several in a row has not given any upgrades so this is working as it should uh, this is good because that gives the player the option to be actually a little bit nitpicky and that is fine and dandy it's not like hardcore is, is a say a sailing on roses or dancing on roses anyway you need to work hard to succeed so I don't mind having a bit of extra help I love it. you can see the light inside the houses and when they all go to sleep, night and skip time starts, then the light goes off. See? <laughs> what have you improved in? You only have one. Oh, oh, are you a migrant that has only one skill? Oh, you must be a gatherer. Yeah. So gatherers who are on gathering duty, they tend to get a, a higher skills and only in the... Uh, communal tasks such as leatherworking, stocking these food processing, woodworks, stoneworks because it repairs a lot and also in, in time they will get uh, architecture but I feel that the the groups are fairly good at rotating each other so everyone gets a little bit of more than one type of of work to skill up on Unfortunately, it is a, a, a backside of the speed that if there's not enough activity for the younger generation, then the elder who has the max skills in the guild can, in the guild, in the tribe, can take with them some of those levels when they die of old age, which, you know, is not very far off at all, is it? Because, yeah. So I kind of hope that the devs will find a way to diminish that to a point where it's not so visible because it is a bit visible we have had a few up and downs here haven't we on some of the the lesser used skills some of them haven't quite been 100% logic to me for instance the loss of stone sickle when we had like 46 and people were still uh, crafting them that was a little bit weird I think but um yeah, it could, it could have been the other part of the skill as well needed. 
because it's uh, not only toolsmithing, it's also stone working. So if they didn't work hard enough on the uh, stone working, then it could happen as well. And this one is done, so I'm going to save up stone now to get a megalithic support structure. And we're going to pick the men here. So the more we have, the quicker it will be. I think you need four of these to get 100% speed, like they are there in Swish and Swoosh. The Trilithin on its own will basically do that for you in four seconds. I exaggerate to make a point. <laughs> but that means that you can uh, bully them a little bit more with the work hours, because they will get rid of most of the unhappiness but their physical uh, will still be dropping a bit their physique will still take a bit of beating so keep that in mind to not uh, overdo it with the work hours being increased i try to not do it at all if there is some issues with workforce versus what needs to be done versus the income we have to have to survive i could uh, play around a bit with the work hours but before that i try to not do it too much So as you can see, the tribe is uh, quite happy. There's very little, very little issues. We have plenty of food. And we've turned down the, all the wild produce, which we should in a sedentary lifestyle, at least at, at year eight, although we've been here. Is it the fourth year we've been here? We moved out, was it, was it four or five? I think it was four or five, because we wanted to start anew. And um, yeah, we are on track definitely oh wait do i have some of my farms open i do i do or i do the see last one i added is on tribe only i'm going to leave it on tribe only because it seemed to be okay actually because we're not hanging behind with any of the repairs i mean the huts are the most important isn't it the repair materials because i put it to 600 Normally I would have it on three, but with all this speed stuff that has changed, the difficulty and stuff, I added it twice to make sure that things are getting done. You have to because they have decreased when things need repair, but they have then also made it so that you need double the amounts. You know? It goes without saying. So there. Let me have a look at the elder ones. Okay, they are going down. Yeah, so the elder ones are now quite a bit below the adults, which is exactly what we want. But the females are 10 below the males. So that ratio is a little bit skewed, but uh, this is why I accept the migrants, because they will keep a fairly okay balance. Ish, 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 ish. Not too unhappy about this, I have to admit. I think so far the, the balance is a lot easier to find on expert than it is to find on hardcore. Hardcore is a flipping pain in the beep to find a balance. It took me several years to find a balance when I did the playthrough. Oh yeah, I have a baby. I have a baby, a baby farm. I forgot about this one. <laughs> Tiny will give you two and a half beats. <laughs> Very adorable. <laughs> and there's so much food, don't need really to uh, lock down anything. I'll just leave it open. But need to keep an eye on to lock it if the food starts to go low and then increase with the fishing instead and some hunting. I just want to see what we're being warned about, which of these uh, species are going down. Look how she has improved in uh, wool smithing. Oh my goodness. She's not joking around, but look at her, her skill set. She is quick and skillful. So of course she learns really quickly. Yeah, not surprised at all in the slightest. Not in the slightest. Okay, let's 
try to have some peace and quiet to repair stuff. Well, just in case for those who wonder, the arrow there means that the mill is ready to be worked on. It has what it needs. And the cog means that it is uh, now ready to to have their things removed, to have it uh, placed uh, here. And here you can see the arrow means it's ready to be taken away, the bread. And you can see this one is also ready to have its flower taken away. And this one is showing with that arrow that the uh, the seed is ready to be picked up. So everything has a, has a meaning. Yeah, good. People are good with, with doing these things, aren't they? See, I always play on, on quick, so I, I don't really see everything. You know, this is one of the, the things that I don't think the devs particularly like about the way I test. I never test on slow. Never. I always have full speed. <laughs> so I'm not a particularly good tester as such, um, but I do, I do get the game play fairly okay, correct. Okay, now the cog is there, that means it is ready to be worked on. And then someone comes and grind flour. Gosh, there's even sound for it. I can hear it. Dang. I don't think I've noticed this before. <laughs> you can come you can become quite attached to your tribe if you play on slow. Because it's more intimate, isn't it? It's more bonding. So these are having their bread baked. You can see the flour is there and it's baking. Very nice. Have a look and see. So here are the, the wise people sitting around, sharing their experience in life. And then suddenly one of them realizes, oh! If we do like he does and do my technique, then we can do this. And then suddenly we have a new object, a new skill level. What's with her face? What's that white stripe on her face? Shoot, I can't see it. Could you see the white stripe on her face? See that? That's weird. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Three hundred stones. I guess we could just start doing the uh, the megalith. I'll just make it uneven. Cause I find that disturbing. How is that? No, it's too even, isn't it? Let's do it a bit weird. Let's do it a bit weird. There you go. That doesn't quite make sense. I, I don't mind that. Beating OCD. A woman 22 I don't care if she has a bad grade I'll take her we need more women a little bit more women 
Ooh, someone is pregnant. She has a baby. I hope you get a Mesolithic child. Please get a Mesolithic child. So we don't lose... So we don't lose uh, the Mesolithic culture. She! Oh wait. Who was that was pregnant? I clicked her and then she dis That's the one. She. Oh, so now they have one Neolithic child. And now I think they should get one Mesolithic child. But we will see if he actually is the father or not. You know, you can't trust any of these. They do they do swing around here and there. Let that be known. <laughs> well, I guess it's how it was. It was I think it was more common Paleolithic, uh, Mesolithic than this late in Neolithic to not stick to your partner. I'm pretty sure they had some kind of marriage by now as well. Some kind of bonding ritual to say that they should stay together. I know too little about this, to be honest. Oh, I need to get rid of that. There you go. Off you go. You can go now. Oh, do you not have a grave? Guys! Dude! Get your asses to bury her! What's wrong with you? Your relative can be carried by you as well, you lazy git! Do you have kids? No. Guys, you need to bury her. Come on. She's been laying there all day. Are you serious? What is this? No respect. That's what it is. No respect. Time for whoop ass. Guys. <laughs> They're not going to bury her, are they? Is going to lay there and they're going to sit right next to her while she starts to decompose. And they're going to eat and they're going to talk and pretend like she's not there. Unacceptable. Oh, finally someone picked her up. Only took a day and a half, really? Took too long, seriously. I'm going to have to whine to the, the devs leaving all poor women by the fireplace. For one and a half month? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, we have so few Mesolithic left. Look how few they are. Oh my god. Okay, they got uh, a Mesolithic child. That is excellent. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You know, she's 76. Gosh, it's a good age. But she is dying now. She lived a long time. 76. she in any of these? Or have they carried her out already? You probably have. You see, some of them, they're doing quick. Oh, wait. We have two dead in here. Better carry them out. Okay, so now can you see the elderly are, are sinking drastically? And as it should be, really. Because I don't want the children and the elderly bit to be, to be far, too far off each other. Because then there will be these dips. But that's why we've got the migrants coming so often. To help with that dip. Hmm. These need repairs. Again, did we just repair them? Or was that another part of the fence? Yeah, it was another part, never mind. Because I didn't build, build all at the same time. I built them in one or two, two or three sections, I think. Oh, we lost a bit of weaving, didn't we? When someone died. 
I only lost another one. How long has he lived? Where is he? There he is. Seventy-three. Sometimes the game doesn't like when I have full speed trying to find the tooltip. It's like it gets stressed. Okay, we're going into more crops being planted with quite a bit of straw so everything will be repaired at the same time so just keep that in mind if you're doing this speed that you need double the amount of materials to keep everything repaired while you're doing all the farms because the farms will take a huge chunk of your workforce for roughly between 70 to 80 percent of the year just keep that in mind keep that in mind because now we have much more than we need of housing we can house this at 11 or 10 Let's see if I can still not see the longhouse. I can't, can I? Nope. We should actually be allowed to see it now because we are below 3k BC. So it should really start to show now shortly, or actually, it should now have been showing because we're so far east. What's wrong with you? Not enough beetroots. Okay, so I'm gonna. <coughs> Lock these down and these. They can stay open because they are basically done now. Very pretty here. And I love the, the pink shimmer that things get in certain lights. Just that when the, the mountains have a pink shimmer, it's really, really cool. Just making sure there are no dead people in there that nobody's burying. <laughs> Look at that. Suddenly there's a ton of graves that have been filled. So 16 elderly, 24 adults and 11 children. Yeah, this is okay. It's been a small dip from 55, hasn't it? A small dip. Not too bad at all. Okay, so what have you done? Oh, you've done fishing! Let me see... Yeah? Indeed! They're both 70, meaning he has uh, improved fishing a bit. That's good! That is fantabulous! So it is actually more economical to not have big straw huts because you need a hundred for those but you can only sleep six and it only has plus five positivity while these also has a hundred straw that needs to be repaired but you can sleep eight and it has a plus 30. So what we should aim for is to replace all of these with these it will be done bit by bit i'm going to start during daytime to make sure that i don't cock up the sleep spots for everyone i do think i can easily remove this one without losing any sleep spots i mean so that everyone can still have a, a place to sleep
Yeah, so sometimes when they are really busy, they take a bit longer to to bury the dead. But normally they are quite quick. So I'm not going to complain too loud. Sure, you don't have any bad grades, you'll do fine. You will teach yourself the skills that you're working with and um, that's all I can ask. I'm going to take this one down. Uh, there should only be a few things left to plant. Yeah, those and... Oh no, I'm not doing flax. Uh, I keep forgetting that I'm not doing flax. Right, so you are new. Oh, can get more people? Yeah, sure. Let me have a look at you. No, you have no mesolithic blood, I almost said. Oh, it's getting smaller. Mm. Okay, time to get up the next. Ta-da. Oh, wait. Wait, is that a... Oh, nope. That's a berry bush, right? It is, right? Yeah, I think it is. We will find out. So I'm going to build here instead. There you go. We have food, no worries. Yeah, there is food. I'll pause my lumber dudes and dudettes. So it's time to take these now because the altar should do the trick and I want them to prefer the altar over those little ones oh there There's been a lot of rain lately here, hasn't it? If, if we want less rain, we need to go a bit more away from the mountains, I think. Oh, did we lack a few? Yeah, I had it open for a bit too long, didn't I? Yeah, but we are overproducing anyway, so... This is the thing that always haunts me, that I open up for people to eat up what's left, and then I forget to lock them down again. Yeah, a story of my life. How far are you? Yeah. Okay, we still have some graves left. We're good, we're good. Why do we have so much rose hips? Or because they are suddenly seven. Yeah, you can kill a bit on those. Don't need a ton of those because we have several things they can help themselves from. How many hunters do I have? One. Yeah, one is fine. Oh, I'm going to put it down to one, but uh, I'm so afraid I'm going to lose some skills. Some levels. I probably am no matter what I do. Because it's just the more you you stay in one locality and if you fish regularly then the of course the pools will need to be replenished so if you don't pause them if you don't pause the fishermen then the pools uh, don't get that replenished and the fishermen has to go further and further away and go more and more between the pools and when they go between the pools they don't learn skills you don't get fishing skills from walking around so that is a little bit of a dilemma there because uh, the, the, the idea is that 
when you perform the activity, you get the skill, yeah? You get the learning. But even if you are in a fishing group and you're going back and forth from the pool, you only get learning for the few times that you are by the pool and fishing that one fish. And then the second you're done with that fishing that fish and you need to go to the next pool, you no longer learn. So this is why we keep losing fishing skills uh, when we've stayed for many years in the same locality. So this is also why for me it is important to, to pause the, the fishermen every now and then. But then again, this uh, has been mitigated a bit with, with uh, migrants coming in, in in larger amounts than they used to, more frequent and also with more varied skill sets. So this is yet a good attempt to uh, try to chill a bit on that. Let's see how many of these I have. Three. Do I need more? If you, at the time of harvesting, still have, for instance, wheat left, then you need more threshers. Just also check the decay on your wheat. If it's almost rotting away on the ground, then you really need to thresh it and get it made into bread. Because the, the, the decay on the wheat is transferred to the wheat grain. So if you have uh, uh, six sheaves and then you get three wheat grains, and if the sheaves start with half rotten, they will continue to be half rotten when they are, you know, uh, grains as well. But when you are then processing them into bread then that rot is going away and they are becoming fresh bread so just keep that in mind as well I wonder if I should make more ovens hmm. I think I'll do this These guys don't need this. You guys can have something else. I think it's uh prudent to chill a little bit on the free people so if they are max six then whatever is free will do some of the more communal tasks and that belongs to also doing the the bread baking as well so there are good amounts of of beetroot which is good so i'm going to leave that one and I'm going to no, I'm going to leave that one open because it's now been a year and they still haven't eaten up what there is. So I'm going to let them um, make that into bread. Because you see, when the bread comes out, it has zero decay. Yeah, makes sense. Right, so one flower takes two wheat grains. That means that four sheaves of wheat will create enough to make 10 breads. It's still economical. Yeah, definitely. time I'm going to um, I'm going to take this one away and create yet 
another one Oops. of the Neolithic roundhouses. I need to not kill that berry bush. So I need to be careful where I place it. There you go. And I'm going to cross this one so I get some stones. It's only four we need, right? We don't need a ton of stones. It's only four? Yeah, it says four. That didn't take long at all. <laughs> Oosh, they were there. What's left on this one? 143. Well, that is a fern. That can go. That's not important. I think this is a berry bush. Well, we'll see when it grows up. Oh, I'm only going to play till roughly year 10. So it might not be grown until then. But it's better safe than sorry. I think. I think, I think, I think. So we have tons of food. And I was going to be happy if I got like 50-ish population. And we have 50-ish. People are mostly happy. Oh, is that a small percent? Oh, it's because all of these need repairs. That's why. When they are being repaired, then we will get enough uh, sleeping spots again. Oh, you got good fishing. I'll take you. Definitely take you. So when these are repaired, then the sleep spots will be okay again. Yeah, see? Yoshi. So I quite really really actually quite enjoy the the new informative system the new informative warning system because it will keep you updated on the overall for absolute everything in the tribe and whenever you see that okay there's uh, eight percent people complaining you can just go into sits and tap and you will kind of already know from what you have seen from them before you will already know which one of them will be the oh she's dying but she's 24 she's had a good life you can see those who have a bit bad grace, they tend to be the ones who are complaining. They tend to let you know, like this one, he says he's overworked, yeah? So he has a, a, a bit of issue with the working. So you can see what they are saying, you can read their thoughts, each and every one of them. And after everything you hover over will give you more information. So there, sh there shouldn't be any clear reason and there's nothing obvious about not fit finding out anything because now you can just hover over absolutely everything to get more information yeah and she's also overworked she has she is both weak and hesitant so yeah she's struggling so these are the ones that is making up the percentage that is taking away 100% happiness just be aware of that but keep an eye on this uh, because if it turns worse and worse then you know you have forgotten your work hours on high <laughs> so just remember that if you up your work hours do not leave them there for years not gonna work you can get away with it probably in beginners but not in expert or and certainly not in hardcore never in hardcore never gonna happen <laughs> I wish but no ain't gonna happen so a few people went to bed hungry and you can see there are uh, different uh, descriptions based on the color of the information you are being given. Well, oh, this is someone missing a meal, very likely. But check the rationing policy just to be sure. It's, it's, it's very, very helpful, especially for new players who don't quite know all the ins and outs. So this is a quite important step in the game to be friendly towards very new players or players who still need to learn a lot of the ins and outs of the game. So yeah, that was an extremely good move. So everything is extremely well explained. Everything. Yeah, absolutely everything has an explanation. You get all the information you need. Sure, don't mind you. I find the, these hotfixes to be extremely 
extremely successful in at least what I want for the game. And when I say what I want for the game, I'm also thinking about players who are not the same as me, that don't have the same taste as me, that don't have the same agenda as me, that want to do other things than me. So what the game is doing now is catering to a lot broader clientele of tastes. It's not only one type of players, it's several types of players. You have the hardcore players who can do hardcore and slow. Then you have those who need more practice, can easily do beginners and even even fast uh, expert. Um, so there are something for everyone. So nobody should really, you know, come back and give feedback now that the, the game is boring. It's either too it's too hard. Well, go beginner then. Ah, oh, it's too easy. Well, go hardcore then. You know, because the devs have covered all the possible ways that people could or or fail to play. So this is uh, a huge step forward with regards to making the game more community friendly because the community is not the same. Not everyone in the community plays the same way, not everyone can manage the same way or want to manage the same way. By all means, we all have different agendas for the game. It doesn't have to be the same. And I think that, that they have taken that really well into account and, and the result I find great. I think it's great. It's fantastic. And there are so little bugs. It's just basically nothing. It's weird that there is so much coding going on. There's so many patches. I think we did 41 patches in three weeks. 41 and I'm not even kidding. No bugs. It's weird, isn't it? That there are no bugs. But the system they're using must be really good and they must know it very well. And the reason for that could probably be because they designed it, isn't it? They actually made the machine that this game runs on. They made it. The game. Fabulous. And when Animal Husbandry comes, then we will be able to domesticate animals or we will get to start with we will be getting domesticated animals that comes with the migrants yeah, I'll take you you're skillful yeah I'll take you too you guys looking good and with raiding we will raid other tribes and get the materials we want I'm going to raid Fine Raw Stone and Flint Court, just saying. I'm also going to raid all their honey. <laughs> raid all the yummy food, all their bread. <laughs> My tribe would want to have. I just hope they don't open up so we can be raided too, because I don't want that. I want to be the one doing the raiding. <laughs> don't want anyone to come raid me. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> so, yeah, and then we get the trading. And of course, I will trade away my sticks oh my logs for honey you know I have to trade 500 logs to get two units of honey it's gonna be extremely difficult <laughs> so that is gonna be great to see how this comes together all these iterations coming together and also when the game ba the base game is released they have announced it to be was the 24th of March I think it might be a little bit later because they have worked so hard to get in these different game uh, differences, uh, difficulties and game speeds. So there is some lost time there. But I think this was extremely needed to uh, allow more of the players to feel more immersed into the game, basically. But what they are going to do when the base game is released is that they are going to create a new roadmap for new implementations, for new road steps, for more things to be added already to the game. And the first DLC they're going to work on at the same time is Paleolithic Ice Age with mammoths, woolly rhinos and, and all the things that belong. And I, I just can't wait. I feel I've waited for this game for 20 years, but now I can't wait another year to get all these things. This is going to be very rich. Yeah. I just hope that the game sells so well that they can hire more people so we get a bit more speed in the updates, a bit more content for every update, more added, 
you know, I want more. Yeah, Lily wants more. <laughs> I'm just so happy that they never gave up, even though they are sitting only one and a half programmer and that's it. That's all they have. <laughs> so it shows that this is a project of passion and love and not a project of economy, you know. Because if they wanted to make money, then they're doing it wrong. <laughs> this is not the way. But they will be rewarded in the end with, because they uh, have this passion and they never give up. So this game, when it's more complete, will be very popular with a large majority of the gaming community who likes games like this. Of this, I'm 100% sure. So I am absolutely in love with the game now, even more than ever before. I didn't think I could be more in love with the game after we got knowledge, because I loved the knowledge. But now I'm even more, I'm more addicted. I love that the game is so busy, the game is busy now. If you wanted more busy, go to hardcore. It's a nightmare. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of my, my my stand at the moment with the game. I think they've done fabulous adding the things they have. Made it open for much more types of player, different varied types of players with different uh, uh, play, play style, different way they want things to go. Slow, fast, hard, easy, everything is added. It's a little bit for absolutely everyone. The thing though is that the amount of things that are in the game hasn't really increased. But the way you play it is kind of what has drastically changed. And uh, it doesn't mean that you can play it longer. It means that it means that you will have a, a harder time playing it longer. <laughs> You'll have to spend more time getting it right. So in that sense, you don't get uh, more things that you can build. But you get it, you make it, it's more difficult to build everything, to put it like that. It's more difficult. I find that attractive. It should be hard. It wasn't easy back then, and it shouldn't be easy now. I, I think this is great. But basically, as a, as a rule of thumb for, for you guys who want to play expert or even go even to hardcore, remember that the first thing is to always do get comfort for your people. Get up those offerings, get down enough fireplaces so nobody has to sleep in the open. That is kind of number one. And then get up huts, get up your farms if you're Neo. If you're Miso, it's kind of a little bit more holiday compared to Neo, but it's still hard work. Because you need to keep your people happy, you know. You can't... Uh, oh, wow, look at her. She got two of her um, knowledge is quite increased compared to us. So the green is what uh, we would learn from her. So that is... But she does have a bad grade. But, you know, I don't care. I'll take her. Ta-da. Oh, trillithons. That means I could have made this one a trillithon. But I did not. So yeah, I uh, really, really liked this patch and the previous three, four hotfixes. I think it's really cool what they've done with the game. And the gameplay is a lot harder. It can be a lot more stressful and it is much more unforgiving. So people who, who play beginners and say this is too easy, just move on to expert. When expert is too easy, move on to hardcore. When hardcore fast is too easy, we want the hardcore slow. You have several gradings of difficulty based on the difficulty you choose and also the speed you choose. You will figure this out when you keep dying from famine playing hardcore slow. Because that is hardcore. I mean, I like hardcore. I'm the one who's been doing all the testing on hardcore. But if I can do it, you can do it. And if I can't do it, please do it and then teach me. Yeah? Deal? Deal? Yeah? <laughs> do we have a deal? That is going to be it from me. This was a great experience. I almost messed up my uh, tribe and killed everyone with a famine because uh, I forgot to lock my seeds down. But we did okay, didn't we? We did okay. And we got good hearts for everyone. And the, the tribe is basically happy. 
but then again it is on expert and and normal normal speed normal this normal that so this is what the utter majority of players should manage to do and be happy with so um if i had my will the hardcore would be harder but then that's just me and i'm pretty sure i'm the only one who wanted like that but yeah if you manage to get 150 people in hardcore slow you let me know then you teach me this mere tricks Oh, wise one. <laughs> but, uh, so the next uh, video will probably be the uh, uh, animal husbandry patch explanation video and of course the, the following playthrough of that patch. Um, I cannot say a timeline because I have absolutely no idea when it will be there. But I don't think it's too far off because they're already working on raiding and trading. So I think they're pretty much just waiting for me to be ready to test the um, the animal husbandry. We already started doing the animal husbandry. So, yeah. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching this with me and playing with me. And thanks a lot for playing Anson Cities at all. Um, I shall see you next time. And until then, have fun and take care. <laughs>